Uh-huh. Uh. It's the chef. Baby, baby. I was born in 85, but I'm like 97 big Bad boy uh-huh. ready to die, but now I prefer to live Was ready to uh-huh. take a life, but now I prefer to give Bring a cease uh-huh. to my sins, keep the faith for my kids uh-huh. Francis what? in the flesh, I'm back here Homie, get out my chair uh-huh. I'm back live, baptized, rap guys uh-huh. With the laws of Moses, grace by Jesus Cherry red M3s, how I display fruits to the masses Over their heads like mad passes The pot of Made me clay like cashews Still slicker than your average Chefy Smalls keep it slow like cabbage Breaking down the walls like the law spell backwards No episode, no theatrics uh-huh. Killing everything you in No Patrick, uh-huh. shit's graphic Who touching the kid like sick Catholics Chef free the savage, flow's classic I think my music is being so well received Because it's just some real shit, you know It ain't no, it ain't like I said
Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Say what's real. Uh. My father figure keep me guided. I'm always protected. Not a single wrong. I don't ever get corrected. Light over my shoulders. Tales from a priest. Take a Psalms 23 and sit your tail to a seat. Legendary in a way, but nothing like a tall tale. False gods set them up, they all fell. Fantasies they all sell. Nothing in my time can compare to the timeless. The light behind my rhyme and the one who I get in line with. Yeah. Ain't no other lane for this fire flame minister. Descended from a higher plane, ain't no higher name from the one. When a gun jam, I figure you know now. Divine power, follow me. That's just how it be. Yeah. I can testify for sure, my heart not pure. But still I get to see a day that I did not work for. Bodies dropping with the climate. Gats raising on black faces. Still I'm the one who made it. I just be thinking when I roll. Something key watching me. Yeah. Something key watching me. The most high. Something key watching me. Yeah. Something key watching me. I feel like everywhere I go. Something keep watching me, uh -huh. something keep watching me, the most high. With my conscience, I acknowledge that there is a higher power. Look, Look at me. me, false idols never promise victory. You survived because you was meant to. Stop the guessing, you a prized possession. Blessing from the sky, ain't no higher lesson. Uh -huh. I'm a messenger, you should get with this rhythm. Gospel, you ain't gotta be poor with chains no more. Flip up your master plate, don't be captivated by your master space. The earth is yours, but first the one we know gon' have to pass away. Destiny, you part of a higher design. They tell me the sight of his eyes like fire. And wines Come coming on. at the wild child who made it through the birth canal. Uh -huh. One shot, amazing how you missed the kiss of death. Life was in your uh -huh. step. People turned away from out this way, never coming back. Yeah. Slipped and fell inside the cracks, yeah. landed on their back. But you ten toes in the field, still in one piece. For real, from the bottom, where all kind of brothers get easily killed. Rest in peace to them. You part of a higher design. They tell me the sight of his eyes like fire and wine. When I roll, something keep watching me. Something keep watching me, the most high. Yeah. Something keep watching me, something keep watching me. I feel like everywhere I roll, something keep watching me. Uh -huh. Something keep watching me, most high. Uh -huh. I said something keep watching me. Yeah. Something keep watching me. the same, they locked us down in chains, we just praying for a change, they knocked us off the throne and stripped the earth of our names, my heritage I claim, I just pray they do the same, cause if they only knew that we the true Jews, if but knew. if they only knew that we the true Jews, if they only, if they only knew that we the true Jews, if but knew. if they only knew that we the true Jews, you saved us from Egypt, and Moses was the leader, next 40 years, angel food is what you feed us, you pass me down the law, mindset of elitists, I took a blood over Problems like kids, they keep it so we celebrate the past over killer firstborn. You played the land of Egypt, no mercy was shown. The agriculture, finance, the system was torn. When you drown them in the sea and left their city in morning, now I'm mourning. It wasn't a semblance of a sign, no, we blind. Messiah puts fit in clay in my eyes in times. They wondering which way is the God, so we die. Not knowing his always wait till the light, which is Christ. So I fight different stereotypes, parasites. My life ain't worth repair, nice, real life. They think it's all a joke, Harlem Knights in sight They hate us cause we the Israelites Cause if they only knew that we the true Jews if But knew. if they only knew that we the true Jews If they only knew, they only knew that we the true Jews if But knew. if they only knew that we the true Jews Can't shake hands with you, who made grand justice Came with the same spirit as my ancient ancestors We were puking in the gate, ain't sparing now nigga They looking for a sign like when Christ transfigured But prophecy is the sign
mind, which reminds we as children. Cause even Moses' time still describe how we living. We stricken with the curse and got the body of Egypt. I'm lifting up her skirt, exposing these soul secrets. Cause they whitewash history, distorted the pericope. So I dock and grow and see the love between you and me. Put us at the low and then rewarded all lunacy. Wicked of the earth, and if not, then who it be? Damn, I need a moment, just let me grieve. Negro spirits about freedom, they'll never see. Damn, I need a moment, just let me grieve. Gosh, we one speak twice, man, don't perceive. Rock star, trap star, hood stars, and black stars. You whisk and garments, make it bang off of our scars. Battle Walker, Leach, Parker, Thomas, Marshall, George, Carver, Jew, whisk and garments, make it bang off of our smarts. All we see is pain, my people see the same. They lock us down in chains, we just praying for a change. They knock us off the throne and strip the earth of our names. My heritage, I claim, I just pray they do the same. Cause if they only knew that, we the true Jews. But if they only knew that we the true Jews, if they only knew that we the true Jews, but if they only knew that we the true Jews, yeah, we. I just need a little faith in the most high. He order all the steps I take. Time to get weary, but I gotta keep the pace. The clock is ticking, day of the Lord ain't gon' wait. I but yeah, I will walk the water for your grace. Grace. I but yeah, I will walk the water for you. Daily reflection got me vexed about my ways. Then I reproach myself this flesh. I can't escape. Put myself in check. Nike track suit in this case. A two best sword. You know that word. Katana blades. Uh, blades cut me asunder so my carnal mind don't blunder. Thank the most high for SOT. I'm out that slumber. I pray I'm of the multitude that you can't number. Uh, Number times he had blessed me like in forest counting trees. Yeah, how a light is judgment bring it to your knees. And it's a thin line between just enough and greed. Yeah, greed. I'm hungry for some righteous knowledge. I'm intrigued and struggle hard to make it better for our seed. Loving your people is just more than a good deed. Seasons we got crabby with each other, disobeyed. So he put a nation over us men that were base. They pervert the truth, they full of hate, they reprobates. Truth, he made us all, but us and you can't conflate. Both found in the ditch when the fool tries to lead the blind. To be upright, man, perfect the laws and be divine. Take me through that fire, a new mind to be refined. Even if that light, the light hit gold, we still gon' shine. We still gon', yeah. You got that title that don't make you a good leader. You think your followers be gassing you, that's ether. He's pimping past the McIntyre congregation's Reba. Yeah, I see it. The wicked prosper, don't get caught up with the allure. A constant thought is one, my nation gon' get restored. Search for the answers, keep the laws at the end. Endure. Yeah, endure. All the advice is in the book that the fool won't visit. And wisdom show herself the few and the most won't get it. A wise man said, is this for sure or are you committed? Yeah, I'm in this. I'm putting bricks in for myself. You make your decision. The map is laid. I took the step. You trust your improvisions. I must have seen the faith. Now watch it grow up through the ceiling. And the most high, he going to all the steps I take. Time to get weary, but I got to keep the pace. The clock is ticking. They up. The Lord ain't going to wait. I will, yeah, I will walk the water for you. Grace. Grace. I will walk the water for you, Grace. Shalom, 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 family. First and foremost, I have to give all praises, all glory, and all honor unto the Most High God, Yahweh. Of course, I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's your brother, Ariala of Sakari, and I am excited to present to you the nation of Israel, the official Hebrew Israelite Bible. Now, this has been the culmination of four long years of hard work, and it is available for purchase at HIBOfficialZion.com. Get yours today.
Shalom, I'm Sister Mayan, um, a student ambassador for the Spiritual Midwifery program. Spiritual Midwifery has changed my perspective in a positive way when it comes to birth work. It has made me confident that I'm taking on the role that the Most High has chosen me for. I feel as though it has provided me with the right tools to better serve my current clients as a doula and future clients as a midwife. What makes Spiritual Midwifery stand out more than other trainings and programs is that it's much more personable. Just being able to learn with and learn from sisters that are like-minded brings out a level of closeness and spirituality that cannot be achieved by anything not ordained by the Most High. I can definitely feel his presence every time class meets. I would definitely recommend the program to other Hebrew women pursuing midwifery. It's such a joy to learn from another Hebrew sister and also have a community of sisters to learn with that face the same daily struggles that we face in life. Life. Welcome to Pillars of Rest, where you can find special material for our sisters, by our sisters. This is a Sons of Thunder exclusive platform focused on building, encouraging, uplifting, and engaging with the daughters of Zion. Here you'll find personalized and interactive content geared towards showing what it truly means to be a pillar of rest. Interviews, scripture breakdowns, tips on motherhood, marriage, and testimonials are just the beginning of the many things to learn from and enjoy in this program. Welcome to the Truth of Yah. The Truth of Yah's board game mission is to humble the world in the Truth of Yah. The Truth of Yah's board game vision is to build up the poor man and woman in spirit. Many people are deceived by lies, deceit, fraud, pride, forward mouth, arrogance, and evil ways. The poor in spirit are attacked daily. The vision to build up the spirit it's to cause people only to walk in the ways of Yahweh, just as his son Yahweh Shai and the prophets did. By not just speaking the word, but by putting every word Yahweh spoke into action. Into action. We're the sons of thunder Israelites, and it's our heart's prayer and desire that you all get the truth of Yah game. Use our discount code SOT for additional savings. Shalom. Alright, let's, let's play, man. Let's, let's get, get it, it, man. Let's get it going, man. How you think you gon' get my respect? How you a man that can't keep your own spirit in check? That's the difference from rookies and vets. I tend to focus on the game, they rather complain to the reps. But life not a game of scrimmage. You get both your legs broken thinking you standing on chef business. We talking truth, I'm the best witness. I'd rather die than be left in this world. Y'all wanna be left in it. <laughs> talking about the laws done away with it. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Thumb. Welcome to another Sabbath class. Kwame Yahweh Shalom. Kwame Yahweh Shalom. Kwame Yahweh Shalom. Uh, somebody trying to come in here? Oh. Oh. That's right. Hey, yo, who's that? Captain who's that, Yaquav. Y'all might know him and Captain Aharon, right? Y'all might know them from Saturday morning, bar for bar. They're in the building right now. That's right. Uh, mm. Brothers are all coming from all parts of the United States. Uh, for our Passover, which is going to be on Monday at even. All right. Now, we're going to get right to the thing because we had y'all wait a little while. I know y'all said, well, where's the camp video this week? It's been a lot of work. It's a lot to do. Forgive us as we focus on that. And uh, we'll be right back at you next week. Right now, we're focusing on the brothers who just joined the organization, bringing in a new wave of brothers who want to join and the first ever uh, inaugural class of sisters, the pillars of rest that want to join. That's right. We focused on that. But while we're doing that, we got to have Passover. Mm -hmm. Okay. But before Passover, we got to have Friday camp. Then we got to have Friday class, which is now then tomorrow we got to have the Passover camp, you know, yearly Passover camp. Then after that, the next day, <laughs> For the sisters, we got to go into uh, the Pillars of Rest brunch. brunch. Yep. Yep. It's a lot. We 
the brunch is free for all the members of the Pillars of Rest, but if you want to come and eat some kosher food made by loving hands and fellowship as a sister and uh, be around some uh, righteous energy, go ahead and uh, aim your phone at that QR code. Join the Pillars of Rest. Get the Patreon uh, season one, and you in there for free on right. Sunday. Or right. you can just Follow the directions on this flyer. Send us an email at SOT Feast Day and let us know that you want to come and we'll give you all the details to get you into the brunch. It's and, like you had one. Yeah. And, and you know how, like you were saying one time, you, you go to Atlanta for the brunches, you got it's full of sodomites, people mm. standing up on couches and stuff, but ain't none of that going on mm -hmm. at the Pillars of Rest brunch, man. You're going to be surrounded by righteous sisters and good food. Right. Right. Yeah, you know, because you know you gotta show them. Oh, I gotta show them that's water because somebody said what you know, he holding a cup like that, they think it's some yak. Nah. Uh, come on, man. No, no, uh come on, man. Don't make a video just off that. <laughs> Never mind the teaching. Never mind the teaching. Never mind the teaching. Let's let's make a video off of their sponsors and let's you know give them a hard time for having sponsors that support uh the, the uh beautiful ministry that brothers uh was blessed to have. By the grace and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's right. You know, our brothers take y'all seats. Go ahead and dap each other with a holy kiss, and let's Chum. let's get to this thing, man. What's up? Uh, how was camp? I, I wasn't able to go. I was grabbing, running around with shirts and everything. Okay, come, come, come. Shalom to the people, though. Shalom. Right. Shalom. Y'all know crazy. Captain Yaiqua from yeah. Saturday morning, man. Yeah. Glad right. to be back in Atlanta. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The oxygen, right. <laughs> Sisters posting that pillars of rest in the That's chat. Right. Pillars of rest. Oh P.O.R. man, a few of them. Yeah, P.O.R. in the building. Shout out to P.O.R. man. man P.O.R. Right. all 2024. Matter of fact, for the rest of your life. That's right. P.O.R. <laughs> man. Mm -hmm. oh, hey, baby. sisters in the chat, where is the scriptures that even? Where's the scripture that calls y'all a pillar of rest? Where's that scripture? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, Since that's an eight, that. and that's the first precept of tonight. You sisters that's prospecting, you know what I mean. Doest thou know? Dost thou know? Know the scriptures. Let's see if they know that. We're watching the chat. <coughs> the chat now. <laughs> they googling it. I already know they googling yeah. it. Take that light, turn it more yeah, towards the wall. Gonna suggest that. More towards the wall. No, you can twist it at the top. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That good? Oh yeah, yeah. That's much better. Like, I, didn't even know that I don't see nobody posting the precepts. Wow. Nobody posting it. Come on now. Do yeah. we have? Do we have a sister in the house that knows where that is? Oh, we... Somebody got to know. Sirach thirty-six and twenty-four. What's that say? What's that? Uh, uh. It's the book of Sirach, chapter thirty-six. Make sure everybody has four. When everyone has it, say con on a call. When everybody has Syrac 36 and 24, say con. Wait, let me put it on the screen. Con, all praises. The book of Syrac, chapter 36, and verse 24, and it reads thus He that getteth a wife, but getteth a possession, mm -hmm. a help like unto himself. And a pillar of rest. Pillar of rest. Pillar of rest. Not a pillar of stress. <laughs> a pillar of rest. That's right. Yes. You clean on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. It's got to meditate on that for a minute. Yeah, yeah. You can lean on that thing and not be pierced through. Right. Yeah, right. right. Important part of your foundation. That's yeah, right. Very. Yes. Now, another important part of the foundation is knowing why you do things. You could get very familiar with brothers because of the clubhouse ministry. If you're following us there, where we take on all types of scoffs and challenges and questions and the truth can become a novelty. It could become like, well, this is just the new thing I do now. Right. Passover is not so. You have. It's, it's, it's good that you got the zeal, but. It's better to know what you're doing. Right. Yeah. And we so gung-ho sometimes we, we jump right in the pool, but we don't know how to swim yet. Mm 
And Passover is some deep water. Very, very okay. Deep. That's that's the 12 feet, six, right. 16 feet. Yeah. So you need to know how to swim to be involved in that action. And the Bible says that. Okay. So tonight we're just going to talk about a few things and put a bug in your ear, you know, SOT style, just to make you think because y'all decide to spend the Sabbath with us and we're so grateful. So we're going to teach you some uh, meaningful doctrine at the best of our ability. And there's many other brothers here that are sharp with their sword. So it, it, it's, a, it's a lot of edification that can come out tonight. So I'm excited for class. We're going to take it slow, but we're going to take your questions too. It's been a couple weeks since we took questions. So we're going to take your questions too. Okay. And this is very important to understand. We do everything in Christ right now. So your Christian brother says the same thing. And what he means by that is we don't have to keep the commandments as written because we have Christ. He did it all for us. He fulfilled the law. And that means we don't have to do it anymore. That's how they see it. How we see it is we're going to do everything in earnest to follow the scriptures as written. And where we fall short because of ignorance, inability, lack of mobility, lack of money, oppression. We cross that gap with Christ. Yes. Brother Ray. That's the way we observe doing things through Christ. So we follow it to the best of our ability as written. But where we may fall short through, we don't know everything. Through ignorance, we don't, we're not one of them brothers that teach that we know everything. Right. All right? We, we, we know in part, like the scriptures say. How, how Paul know in part, but we know everything. And I'm using Paul's letters. Yeah. But I know everything, but Paul know in part. And when and when it says knowledge and wisdom will increase, that's concerning understanding of the world. Knowledge and wisdom will increase in the world. We'll become wiser, right? But the law been written once. Somebody calling you blowing up? You gotta put on do not disturb. So they can hear that on the call. Okay. So with that being said. Some brothers will come to you and say, well, you can't do the Passover unless you do it in Israel. And they'll stand on that because of a certain law. What that law says is that you may not keep the Passover just anywhere, mm -hmm. but where the Lord puts his name, there you shall keep it. Everybody with me? So step one of handling that is something that Christ said, right? Let me pull that up for you. Go to 2 Corinthians 3 and 3. I think that's what I want. When everyone has it, say come. Second Corinthians three and three. Go ahead. Con, this is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter three and verse three. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the Living God, not in tables of stone but in fleshly tables of the heart. So the Lord is not being written in the carnal sense. The Lord's name is not being placed somewhere in the carnal sense as if Yahweh has vocalized, you will keep the Passover in this place. It is done through the fleshly table of your heart. That is how all things have to be done and observed now. Okay? Because the Lord foresaw your captivity in diaspora. 
So that's why brothers really confuse me when they say you can't keep the commandments in captivity, but you went into captivity for not keeping the commandments. That's very confusing. The punishment for not keeping the law was to go into captivity. But the way to get out of that punishment is to keep the commandments. Hmm. But you can't keep the commandments because you're in captivity. That's a catch-22. I don't think the Lord would do us like that. Right. That don't even make sense. Right. Read on. And such trust have we through Christ to God. So we have trust through Christ that we are pleasing God. So, of course, in the Old Testament, the place where the Lord would write his name would be the city of Zion. But Zion fell. It's trodden down by the Gentiles. Edom has taken it with the joy of all their hearts, with despiteful minds, to cast it out for prey. But you're telling me that to keep the commandments, I got to go back there to the city that they occupied and have profaned? And if I don't do it there, I can't have Passover? No. We're going to do this with trust through Christ to God. To God word means towards God. So through Christ towards God, I'm going to keep the Passover. Not in the carnal sense, but in the spiritual sense. And it's not going to be written on tables of stone. It's not going to be physically pure. Like I did it exactly as the law commands, right. but but I did it with my whole heart. Right. Exactly as in the law commands. Right. Right. Because that's the way that you have to worship now. In sincerity and in truth. Mm -hmm. Captain Mike, I said, get Baruch 2 and 30. I got a precept too. I got a precept too. I think you, you got that. You're going there. Cause I'm not gonna argue that. I'm. You're not gonna get me to try to change the meaning of. You may not keep it anywhere, but in the place where the Lord shall put His name, there you shall keep it. I understand that. Mm -hmm. I can show you uh, the letters going out calling brothers to come home to keep the Passover. I understand that, right? They are trying to keep the commandments in the literal sense, exactly as the tables of stone have written. But we live in the paradigm of accepting Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And this is important. I'm going to explain. Uh, read that. Baruch 2 and 30. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 2, verse 30. When everybody got to say, Khan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. Mm -hmm. So to remember ourselves is to what? Remember our customs, remember our holy days, remember our feasts, That's right. to keep them and do them throughout our generations and teach them to our children. That's yes. right. And this is what's important to get to, because I, I, I understand scoffers better than they understand they self. Yeah. Uh, you got to teach them how to scoff. Right. Teach, sometimes we got to teach you so that you can scoff us better. Yeah, you're right. scoffing wrong. That's not even how you say it and <laughs> what you're talking about. It's no. not, <laughs> you say it like this. We're not telling you we're keeping the Passover as it is written in the book of Exodus. We're not telling you we're keeping it as it is written in the book of Deuteronomy. We're telling you we're observing the Passover as instructed by the gospel. Mm -hmm. And that is the Passover that we keep. And we do it in remembrance of Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. See, y'all have gone, your minds have gone so far in this world. You think that you're better than brothers who get together and rehearse, see, they want to scoff that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And rehearse the righteous act of what Moses did, bringing us out of Egypt, and how God delivered us from the hands of our enemies and saved us and established us as a nation. You think rehearsing that righteous act is trivial and need not be done because we can't do it in Jerusalem with the temple and with the Levitical priesthood set up when the entire new testament is explaining to you that that is not how things are going to be done now that christ has died resurrected okay there's a new mind state there is a new focus we are the true christians god right we're not i know what you want to say the israelites is harping on the law the law the law what about jesus that's the christian argument we respect christ more than you do because Christ would have wanted you to keep Passover instead of Christmas and Easter. That's right. 
Of course. Mm -hmm. right. Not even a doubt. Huh? Where you at? In the, in the land of the North? You're in America? Doing Easter. What are you doing that for? Why, why aren't you keeping the new moon? Oh, we're, we're not in Jerusalem. So? So? It's a new Press moon out there, right? Three. It's a new moon outside. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, you can't judge us in holy days and feast days. Ain't nobody judging you. Because to judge you would mean you've never kept Passover. You cut off from the people. Mm -hmm. And that's who's Paul audience is. People that have never done these things. Mm -hmm. So now here's Paul teaching people, don't let nobody judge you in feasts and Sabbath days. Because now you can come back around. Right. You was cast off, but now you can be grafted back in. That's right. it. You Israelites. Because you know not what, they don't know what they worship, but we know what we worship. Right. 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 And the day is going to come where we're not going to worship in this mountain. That's right. And that's the point. Mm -hmm. That day is now. After Christ has died and been resurrected and we acknowledge him as our Lord and Savior. Not the most high God. That's his father. And with that understanding, we are the true Christians. Right. With the first century understanding of the way to apply and use the teachings of Jesus Christ. Read what you got. This is the book of John, chapter 4, starting at verse 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. That's right. But the hour cometh. And now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. So isn't it very spiritual in the land of your cat captivity to get together and rehearse the Passover observance? Yeah. Man, it's, do? it's a beautiful thing. Uh, for, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Right? And, and, was, and was another thing I got to point out. Y'all are getting your understandings from the so-called Jew. And you're borrowing his arguments, thinking that you're perfecting the Israelite instruction. Right. Hmm. But the so-called Jew keep Passover over here. Yes, he does. Yes, uh -huh. yeah. Now, you borrowing his arguments to tread upon Christ and say you don't need Hamashiach. And then you building on that by saying you're not supposed to be doing these feast days outside the land and you want to go back to the to the line upon line yeah. and go find that in the law but you blended the so-called jew with your teaching and the so-called jew keep passover over here yep. tabernacle and, too and, <laughs> so like, what are they talking about and, and he doesn't believe that they're supposed to be in the land yet because the messiah hasn't come yet the the hasidic, the hasidic. jew <laughs> he doesn't even <laughs> believe nobody should be over there but there should be no such thing as Zionism. And he still keeps the feast days here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and he's off as hell. But guess what? You applying his arguments and you're doing that in full. Yeah. And what we have to do is calm all the way down and address these things one thing at a time. Uh, that's lucky. Go ahead. There's an example. There's an account, if I may read it. Yes. But of uh, this is the book of Acts, chapter 20 and verse 6, right? Uh, and, and it reads, once again, oh, yeah. Say con when you're there. This is Acts 20 and 6. When you have it, say con. Con out of one. Con out of one. Con, okay. Because like, like what the elder said, Paul understood that we have to worship in spirit. So he gave an example, and watch this, and it says, And we sailed away from Philippi, and after the days of unleavened bread, and came unto them in Tros in five days, where we abode seven days. So that's proof right there that Paul, they were in Greece celebrating the Passover. They, yeah. were, they, were, in, they were in Philippi and, and they, they, they were showing. They didn't go to Jerusalem. Now, some brothers could say, I don't deal with Paul. And he, that's he, what they're going to do. Not, no, he's not giving doctrine. This is a historical account. Right. He's an actual historical figure. He's not saying, I'm teaching this. He's telling you what he did. What he did. So it's not for dispute whether you believe his writings or not. Right. All he's doing is chronicling where he kept the Passover at. Well said. Case is closed. Now, right. let's build on that. Now you've moved away from keeping the holy days and your ministry has become, let's criticize the brothers who still do these things. Yeah, that's terrible. So you've turned brothers gathering together into a sin. Right. Yeah. 
That's wicked. <laughs> that is wicked as hell. You you turn brothers, women and children, getting together, keeping new moon into a sin by saying you can't do that unless you're in the land. I've even heard you can't keep Sabbath unless you're in the land. Yeah, yeah I heard that. That's, he ain't smelling that that's day, ridiculous. Be crazy. Crazy. <laughs> but but even if you feel like that, your ministry has become. I'm just going to teach about criticizing the brothers who do the thing. Mm -hmm. So what doctrine is that? And what do you do? And this is the reality. Y'all don't have a ministry. Scoffers is, is getting, is getting to the point where your, your scoff is not exciting anymore. Uh, y'all doodle comes to the camp. Oh, Brothers is not excited. No. Like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a cut. We actually annoyed you here. <laughs> because it's getting corny now. Because y'all are not getting, y'all are not deep. Adawan Zabak said, if you're not dealing with Yahawashai, you can't be deep. You're not deep. You're basic. Because Yahawashai is deep. Because in the volume of the book. That's right. And I see that now. There was a brother, one West, a child. He was in GMS, had his own camp spot, and was the camp leader. And I know he was taught better than this. He get on the clubhouse app. He get cut by some black dude who ad admires uh, the so-called white Jew and just loves them, and adopted their style of Judaism as the way to practice when they don't love him. Yeah, at all. And they hate his ass. He's gonna be a servant to them, and he's gonna be willing. Be happy to do it. <laughs> He cut the brother on some New Testament topic. The brother put Christ down, oh, wow. became an OT only, and made his ministry attacking brothers that still teach Christ. And now he's put that down and doesn't even deal with the scriptures no more. That's oh, called that a reprobate. Yeah. Yeah, they'll argue with yeah. you on that. <laughs> yeah. You put down Christ and the dominoes kept falling. And now you out of the truth. And, 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 and that's and that's the way it's going to go yeah. because Yahweh Shai is the only thing that's going to make you in the truth. Mm -hmm. You can't do this OT only. No. You need Christ. That's it. Mm -hmm. that's right. And that's the point of the Passover. We're not keeping the Passover with our staff and our, our loins girded like we're still in the wilderness with Moses. Uh -huh. Or like we're in the palace with Hezekiah. Right. Or like we're sitting at meet with David. No. Like we in the gallery with Solomon. We're not keeping the Passover like that. Right. Totally uh -huh. different. We're keeping the Passover like the humble disciples did in, a, mm -hmm. in the attic. Yep. Remembering that Christ's sacrifice is the reason why we can approach our God <laughs> again. And as often as we come together, we have to do this in remembrance of him. That's right. And y'all don't understand that. Y'all y'all have become antichrist. And by becoming antichrist, you've blocked your door to salvation. Because you're not going to get it by your own righteousness. That's right. And that's so important. Yahawashai Hamashiach. If you call him Jesus Christ, we're talking about the same person. Listen to me. The technology of Christ is this. For those of you that want to serve God and have failed and fallen short, but the desire of your heart is to please the one true living God, I'm going to make a way for you. That is the purpose of the man named Christ. He wasn't sent here to make you uh, justified of sinning. Mm -hmm. And now some Christians just got mad and logged off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ was, go to Galatians 2 and 15. Jesus Christ was God. not sent here mm -hmm. to make it okay for you to sin. No. Right. He didn't die. He didn't get his back whipped open. He didn't get thorns pressed through his scalp. He didn't get stripped of his clothes and humiliated mm -hmm. in front of all of the people. He didn't get nails driven through his hands and feet and stabbed in the fifth rib so that you could go eat a lobster uh, hoagie. And you, or so that you could go be a sodomite and say, 
the blood of Jesus covers me. Because what that would do is that would make Jesus the minister of sin. That's not what he is. I don't, I don't even understand how we got this far. I don't understand how there is a Baptist, Catholic, Muslim, all of those are reactions to the real doctrine. Right. I don't understand how them things exist because I read this Bible. How did you get here? Yeah, right. Really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. What you mean? We could we don't have to keep the commandment. How you get there? How, what do you mean we don't have to keep Sabbath? Because the the man is the Lord of the, the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. That doesn't say don't keep the Sabbath. It doesn't say that at all. What you what you mean? It don't matter about Israel anymore. How did you? Where did you? What did you read that made you get that doctrine? Yeah. So I don't know how we got this far. This is where we need to be. The commandments are written for all time, and they are a witness against you. That's what you're going to be judged against. Did you do these things that were prescribed for you to do? And where you fell short, there is going to be someone to mediate for you if you understand that. If you understand that you have a mediator, if you are aware that there is a man that was born in Bethlehem son of David, and that he is the branch that's going to make it possible to heal the breach in the wall of the house of David. If you understand that, then you have an advocate and a mediator for all the sins that you've committed and places you've fallen short with the one true living God. There is someone who's, whose word is good. I'm talking about, hey, if he say you good, you good. Because he's at the right hand of the Father. Right. If you understand that, then salvation is possible for you. If you don't understand that, there is no way. We got to start telling these brothers that. Mm. As an OT only, I do not care, bro. There is no way for you to get salvation. You are yet in your sin. Yep. It's absolutely not. Can't. If you know the law, then you would know this. No you are God. yet in your <laughs> sin, bro. Right. I, I don't want to hear nothing about Nothing. You are yet in your sin. How did you atone? How? <laughs> How? And then, they, and then, and then they they argue yeah, and they want to totally fight you. Your lips in your mouth. Yeah. Come on. The Sacrifice. calves of your lips. Sacrifice the lips. The Most High is sick of that. He don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear your vain repetition. Right. Why wouldn't you obey me? You know what? I'm going to send Elijah to turn the hearts of the children back to the father. And he's going to be the voice crying in the wilderness. And he's going to pave a way for the one to come. And that one to come, you should hear him. Yeah. And for those that will not hear him, I will require it of you. That's Old Testament doctrine. You see? So it's all about Christ. Mm -hmm. What's crazy is that I want to, because when you read Proverbs, it says, you're going to laugh at our calamities. Then it says, they're going to call on me, and I'm still not going to answer them. Mm -mm. So it's going to—it's not the sacrifice of the lips. You're going to have to do actions behind They're going to seek me early and not, not going to find me. It's over right. for you, buddy. <laughs> we, we are, we're so technical at taking debate challenges and proving our ministry that sometimes we forget to tell you, if you do not accept Christ, you're going to oh, die. You see what I'm saying? Period. That's that's really what we got to get to. That's it. That's right. So don't talk to me about why you're doing Passover in Atlanta, Georgia, because I accept Christ. Because exactly. Christ taught me. And I'm doing the Passover in remembrance of him. Right. I'm not doing the Passover ritual with the idea that I am keeping the law of the Passover as it is written perfectly and in the sight of God. The way that I am observing this feast, I am blameless. I didn't say that. Paul could say that. He got Gamilio showing him how to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, 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 Caiaphas and them left records. Yeah, know. Ananias and them. Mm -hmm. Onias and them. Mm -hmm. But we don't have that. Right. We the sons of slaves. Uh, our forefathers were raped, robbed, and murdered. Right. right. And it took the most high to have mercy on us and decide to send his angel to bring us the message and tap us on the shoulder and say, mm -hmm. this is the way to go. Walk ye in this. And we heard and obeyed. Yeah. And that's the only reason we're here right now with these shirts on. We're not here because 
we are some biblical uh, geniuses and we figured out the correct exact way to please the one true living God. No, we're here because the Lord had mercy on worthless wretches and decided that he would raise us up from the dunghill and set us among princes. That's, right. that's right. why we're here now. And that's only possible one way. That's yeah. not possible through my own righteousness. Mm -hmm. that's 50 rags. It's only possible through the man who lived, died, resurrected, mm -hmm. and then ascended. And his name is Yahweh Shai. That's right. That's right. Actually, that's you just in a summary gave the whole spill of the new testament that's the yeah, point you need christ yeah. that's all he's that's teaching true. paul that's all paul when you get confused with paul right in your bible in that section i need christ you need christ because that's what he's trying to explain when he's saying the law is done away all the, the terminology and phrases that paul is using that may get confusing all he's trying to teach the people in that circumstance you need christ or you that's die right. i'm gonna preset real quick or you're gonna die because that's what christ said look red letter Luke 13 and 3, yep. I tell ye nay, yep. but except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You're going <laughs> to die. Repent, but we die. don't, we be, we want to show you that we understand the church history and we know what the Old Testament says and brothers sit and study and we scholars in our own right and we skilled in the Hebrew and we skilled in the Greek mm -hmm. and we, and we skilled in the doctrines and the traditions of men and how to tear down strongholds. But sometimes we just got to say this. You need Christ, and if you if you reject Yahweh Shai, you're gonna die. So, what you see us doing, we're not doing it to the standard that you think. You think the the way we're doing things is according to the letter, the tablet of stone. We're not doing it that way. We're doing it in the spiritual manner through Christ. Go back to whole Galatians two. Go back to 2 Corinthians 3 and 3. Let's read through this again. Let's understand this concept. And then we're going to take these questions. Hold your questions because I'm not seeing them right now. We're kicking doctrine. And then by the time we take questions, we're not going to be able to get back to that. Hold your questions. Listen to what I'm saying right now. This is important. Yeah. This is important. <laughs> if you don't have Christ, you're going to die. Right. Listen, we, we look what we teach. man. We teach you all... The whole smorgasbord of, of the Bible. We could go into it. But right now, I'm trying to show you something. You need Christ. Don't let no holy rolling Christian out-Christian you. They do it with lips. They praise him with their lips, but their heart is far. But you do it the right way. And don't do it in self-righteousness like... Yeah, I keep the commandments. Uh, yo, I'll, okay, I. Hey, what you have to do? No, you, you, no, I, you attempt to keep the commandments right. through Christ. Right. Now, in all things, acknowledge Him. Right. Now, Second Corinthians three and three. Read that. Second Corinthians chapter three and verse three. Read it out. For as much as ye are man manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the Living God. Come on. Not in tables of stone. But in fleshly tables of the heart. Read. And such trust have we through Christ to God word. Read. Not what we are sufficient of ourselves. Say it again. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as our as, as of ourselves, but mm. our sufficiency is of God. I don't mm. think that the most high is pleased with me because I did new moon. I fasted on day of atonement. I kept my beard and I wore my fringes. So now the most high is dealing with me. I do not think that. You think we think that. That's the Christian attack. Right. The yeah. Christian attack is, oh, y'all are arrogant and proud and all that law keeping and y'all are boasting. How? How, no. how are we boasting? How are we boasting by how keeping good. Passover? How is that a boast? Right. Right. How? We've humbled ourselves. How is it a boast that we kept Passover? How, does, how is that a boast? Because you know that we did it? <laughs> you invited. <laughs> You invited the new moon, but come in the right spirit. Right, right. But they boast so, about not keeping. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. They, they are they are proud of a plain yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be, be, what does it say? Be, be not, not proud, proud of a plain way. way. Yeah. Now it says it. Be, be, not, be not, not confident. confident. Yeah. 
you 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 are completely confident that doing nothing you still good and that's with you you misusing christ be not confident in a plain way you're gonna die like you said christ's technology is repentance like the the point of christ is so that you may repent but what are you repenting from sin right Right. sin is a transgression of god's laws so when you weren't keeping passover what was that Hmm. sin yeah, you weren't keeping the feast days. What was that? You were in you sin. Were in sin. Yeah. So the point of Christ is to create a door, a way for you to stop that sin, and now I can do it. And then you do, do it. Christ. You do it with, like James said. Mm-hmm. Okay, you show me your faith, but I'll show you my faith by oh, my work. Works. I'm yeah. gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna put the energy and the effort, man. Right. What's a boast there? Where's the boast? In trying. Y'all gonna die. Y'all gonna be destroyed in your security and complacency, and you will find out that it is us who he has loved. That's right. Right? Right. You're gonna learn. Y'all gonna learn quick. Okay. Hold on one second. That thing went haywire. <laughs> yeah, of course. He been, he didn't want us to have class. Nope. Let me get it right. Y'all getting dizzy yet? <laughs> <laughs> It got full battery. You saying it's dead? No, I don't know what it's doing. It's crazy. It got full battery. No, look, it's on, but it's just. It got full battery. Yeah, but it's got. It's not centering itself. Let me take this out. Hold on, Israel. We getting it together. There we go. There we go. That was weird. We was we was making too many good points back to back to back to back to back, and you can't do that. You know, the adversary is like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, yeah. and he gotta he gotta have some say in how this class go. He don't like when you try. He doesn't like that because that's what we was teaching: effort, yeah. effort. Second Corinthians three and three and verse five. Read again. This book of Second Corinthians three and th- uh, three and verse five. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves. Come on. To think anything as of ourselves. Nobody's boasting. Come on. But our sufficiency is of God. Yo. And Christ is sufficient for me. Right. right, right. That is who God sent for me. I. I am sufficient. Yeah, that's right. That's what he said. That's what he said. Mm-hmm. That's what that means. It is not. It. <laughs> It's hard to teach Christ without our brothers and sisters taking from it that they can stay in their sin because of how Christ has always been taught. So when we try to teach Christ the same way, but with the true understanding, it's it it puts us in a pickle sometimes. Right. Because when we we want to read John 316. God loved the whole world. He sent his only begotten son. So that men may have life and none shall perish, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when I, when when the church taught you that, mean Esau coming in, right? So it's like we want to explain it more than we want to just enjoy the verse, enjoy it. right? Just read it, and that's what is missing from the ministry a lot is just the foundational study of Christ. Mm-hmm. That's what Passover is. Our our Passover is going to be an exercise in obedience and submission to God's plan that he should send his son to die. And that is how we will be made righteous. Right. Not by our own actions and doings, but through acknowledgement of the sacrifice of Yahweh. That's right. That's right. And that's how we're going to be righteous. So when we do Passover, we're not doing Passover like we in Jerusalem. And there's a red heifer around here somewhere. We're not trying to do it that way. We're trying to do it through Christ as instructed body apostles via the gospel okay and y'all got the wrong idea a lot of you with what passover is now the name of the class is passover is not a party but passover is definitely not a party but passover also is not a get together passover also is not a righteousness fest passover is a moment in time to memor memorialize Christ's sacrifice. Right. That's what Passover is not a place where you get your freshest and flyest garment just to be seen by everybody. And then don't go to a new moon. 
That's not what Passover is about. Passover is an opportunity to acknowledge Christ. Right. <clears throat> I couldn't start with that because somebody gonna say, What Christ got to do with Passover? Passover is for the Israelites when they was leaving Egypt. And you're supposed to take a lamb without spot or blemish, and you're supposed to roast them with his legs and his head and his pertinence thereof, and you're supposed to eat unleavened bread for seven days. That's what Passover is. What is he talking about? I understand that. I understand all of that. I've I've studied it. I can teach that to you. But what I'm telling you is the revelation, the true revelation is. Passover is an exercise on memorializing Christ's sacrifice. That's right. So, yes, we're going to rehearse all those righteous acts. I'm going to use that the way the scoffers want to use it. Rehearse righteous acts means just retell what your forefathers did. Of course, dummy. <laughs> the scriptures tell you that. Of course. That's actually the Passover says that. That's why you're doing it to tell them yeah. why we're doing it. You know what you do at Passover? You rehearse the righteous acts. Right. So if I'm going to rehearse the righteous acts, I got to do Passover. Y'all cut again, but look, let's let's get let's let's get back to the thing. We're not doing Passover in that mind state. We're doing Passover as an opportunity to memorialize Christ, because that's what he asked of us. And since he is the way that we're going to get salvation, I'm gonna to listen to him because I believe he is the prophet from Deuteronomy 18 and 18. And God said, Hear ye him. So I'm obeying God by listening to Christ. Right, right. Because the apostles taught me that that prophecy was written of him. Mm -hmm. okay. And I understand that. Mm -hmm. So at Passover, yes, we're going to do the meal. Yes, we're going to deal with that. Yes, we're going to talk about how Moses was mighty in acts and deeds. Yes, we're going to rehearse those righteous acts. Okay. But it's all going to be done through Christ. That's right. That's right. In the spirit and observation of Hamashiach. And if you get away from that, you don't need to do Passover, Ark. Right. If you're getting away from that and you're forgetting that, your Passover is, there is no point to do it. It's meaningless. The Most High did not smell in that solemn feast day. He don't care about it. Matter of fact, in Christ, it's worse now because if you eat the Passover unworthy. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Passover. <laughs> Passover is not a party. Oh, no. Passover is not a party. That's right. Go to Galatians 2 and 15. Read that. The book of Galatians. Chapter 2 and verse 15. When everyone there, say calm. Um. We moving swift. Okay. We getting through it. It's Galatians 2 and 15. We who are Jews by nature and not sinners of the Gentiles. <laughs> what? And not sinners of the Gentiles. Go ahead. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. Now, this is important. It doesn't behoove me to do Passover as a legalistic law practice. It doesn't help me to do new moon as a legalistic observation. I'm doing this because it's a commandment and I'm doing the law right now by doing this new moon. Because that is the boast. The boast is I presume that what I'm doing right now is right and exact and the Lord is pleased. Right. I've decided for Yahweh that he is pleased. Right. That's the boast. That's the boast. That's the boast. Read again. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. Paul is talking to men who know the law and Paul is explaining something that they should know. None of y'all is justified by the law anyway. The law has already accused all of you at some point. Yes, right. All of you. All of you. In his in his audience, because mm -hmm. here come the Christian with a hang glider with a rocket pack. Yeah. No man is righteous. None doeth good. Wait, that you can't say that. Because Job, it ain't recorded that way. Right. Job was perfect. Noah was perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. The parents of John the Baptist was perfect. Matter of fact, what sin did John the Baptist commit? Where is that written? And he's a child of the Holy Spirit, just like Christ. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's right. That's right. What sayest thou? Abraham, what sin he commit? Yeah. Jacob, what sin he commit? Isaac, what Isaac do? Yeah. And according to the Apocrypha, yeah. none of them require uh, justification. Yeah. The law wasn't even made for them. They're not sinners. But we are. In our paradigm, in Paul's paradigm, the 
people of Galatia, ain't none of y'all justified by the works of the law. How? How? Which one of you? And and what and the leaders of the church of Galatia ain't none of y'all justified by the works of the law. Now Paul said he is, and then uh double back and said, I'm the chief sinner. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I was killing people thinking I was right. Mm -hmm. Think thinking oh, I was keeping the law, mm -hmm. I was persecuting the church and mm -hmm. killing people yeah. like Stephen. Thinking I was just uh, thinking I was legalistically following the law perfectly. Yeah. Right. And in reality, I killed an innocent man, which makes me the chief sinner. Yeah. I know that's why he said that. I know that's why he said that. Read on. Crack that door out. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh HaMashiach. That's the justification. And that makes your feast pure. Christ. That makes your Passover something serious. Right. But, you, but you can't be doing it in a legalistic fashion. You have to be doing it in Christ. Read. Even we have believed in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach that we might be justified by the faith of Christ. Come on. And not by the works of the law. For? For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Not in Paul's paradigm. At all. Nobody I'm about to meet on my apostolic missions, none of y'all are going to be justified. It's a wrap. The, the era of righteous men is pretty much over. <clears throat> Read on. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, hmm. we ourselves hmm. also are found sinners, is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. Yeah. 200 on them. God forbid. Does everybody understand? This verse right here destroys the Christian dogma of I got Christ, so my sins are washed, and I don't have to do the work no more of these laws. This verse destroy that. While trying to be justified by Christ, you can't be sinning, bro. Stop, no, bro. yo. Can't do that. Stop it, bro. Can't do that. How do you stop sinning? You start doing what? <laughs> hey, man, that's simple, man. Y'all cut. That's what repentance is. Hey, nobody could beat us in that. You, you, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to speak as a fool. Any, any legalistic debate, we won. Right there with that verse. How is Christ going to justify you while you currently <laughs> sinning? Answer that. <laughs> Trying to answer it is embarrassing right. if you attempt yeah. to answer that question it's embarrassing because yeah. how yeah. the verse is telling you it's impossible yeah. right. you cannot be justified by christ while being a sinner you must cease from sin then you can be justified by christ for what you have done yeah. right. so in ceasing from sin you must admit i have to start keeping the because what's sin so to stop sinning you have to start doing what Keeping the commandments. and we told the sister that last saturday and she went away sorrowing yeah she didn't like that she went away sorrowing we mm -hmm. we explained it to her just like that and we confirmed with her step by step that she understand what we're saying mm -hmm. and walked with her through it and the best she could come up with was yeah but i'm i'm gonna sin again Mm. That's called a presumption. Mm. I said, "Why do you think so low of yourself?" Yeah, because like, and we brought up something simple. Do you have to eat pork? You have to eat it. Right. She said no. She said no, but I'm probably gonna eat it again. We said, "But why not stop?" stop. A dude told me, "Man, I eat I eat pork on accident." Mm. No, you don't. Wow. That's in my last <laughs> video. I bought it on accident. I paid for it on accident, no, and I didn't. ate it on no, accident. No, you didn't. You, you, you're justified. <laughs> you're finding the justification. Hey, bro, you're going to die. Yeah, that's it. Right. You're going to die. Oh, for eating? Yes. Yes. Because you're, you'll be found lacking. You will be found wanting mm -hmm. in that day. Appreciate it. I hope to be found doing. Right. Ain't that what it say? Yes. Blessed is he who is found doing when his Lord returns. Right. Doing what? 
hold on, man. If we seek to be justified, by, every Christian will tell you I am justified in Christ of course. by faith. Yep. If we seek to be justified by Christ, if, but if, if, but if, if we seek to be justified by Christ, if we are found to be sinners, that would mean that Christ is the minister of sin. Yep. God forbid. All right. right. That means he died so you can keep sinning. Right. No. no. Trotting him underfoot. You guys, I don't know how any of you ever got in any other doctrine. Read. Verse 18. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. A transgressor of what? The law. The law. Come on. You're Still returning that, to I mean, your sin. making it so easy for so you. Paul is telling you again. This is it's no way that Christianity, the way that it's taught now, should have ever been taught. How? How? Did you read this source material? It could, not, could not have. You did not read this. If I go back to sinning when I killed that old man, you didn't repent. I am making myself a sinner. Yes. Because yes. uh, a on, sinner man. is non-repenting. You must want to read more. Right. But don't no, we gotta, gotta repent? Know. What you okay, come on. Like Don't we got to repent? Work together. We got so, to. You know, mm -hmm. let me back off of each other. Mm -hmm. So now, we got to be trying to keep the law. Sure. That would mean I would have to be trying to do the Passover. Right. And I would be doing the Passover the way that the, the same people who told me that I have a chance mm -hmm. would teach me. Mm -hmm. And I have to do it in Christ. But I can't be doing the Passover while being a sinner. No, cannot. Can't do that. God. Do you understand? Yeah. The Passover is not a party. Hold on. They come on the Passover to turn up. The Passover is not a I haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> if if we seek to be justified, but we are found sinners, we make Christ the minister of sin. Uh, now we put him to an open shame. Yes. Mm -hmm. You tried it underfoot, son of man. That's Hebrews. That's right. Right. Why would I do that? Ooh. Romans 6 and 1. It's a lot of I'm about to cook for a minute. Hebrews cut you. Because it's hot in here. Mm -hmm. Hebrews cut you because it told you. Yo, under um, two or three witnesses. What time one? Knock, knock on the rib door and tell her to um, turn the AC back on. It's all the way at the end of the hallway towards the stairs. Under two or three witnesses, right? Under Moses' law. You rejected that, you died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much sore for those who try to underfoot the son of man? Don't knock loud. You gotta how, much, the too. how much sore yeah. punishment for you now that you've been given an opportunity to repent from your sins, mm -hmm. though you were guilty according to the letter of the law, uh, and you still chose to uh, choose your own way to hey, choose sin. You ain't lying, because uh, that's why Paul said still this. not very loud. Paul said this in uh, Acts uh, twenty six and twenty two, says. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than yeah, those Paul. which the prophets and Moses did say should come. Go get him and tell him. The so child. that's Paul telling tell you right child. now that you got to keep the law because the pro the prophet said that the law is everlasting, and that they prophesied that Yahweh will come. And that he is the he is the uh, the mediator, and he is the one that we have to listen to, pursuant to Deuteronomy eighteen and eighteen, and all over the scriptures. So that's the same thing Paul was doing. He said, "Hey, we still got to keep the law, but this is that Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. who in which our salvation has come through." Mm -hmm. And that's what Paul was teaching. Okay. And so to it's take like to take Paul's writing and, and gather any other thing, or as if he is telling you to abandon the law. You don't understand this man. Right. And he told you right there. I'm saying the only thing I'm saying is Switch. exactly Switch. Switch. what the prophet should say. Should, should you know happen. do it? Okay. You know how to do it, right? Go ahead, Ak. No, Khan. So I was, I, was just, I was just bringing that out. That Paul, all he was doing was reiterating what the prophets were saying. Mm -hmm. You got to keep the law. It's everlasting. And guess what? Yahweh Shai going to come. And matter of fact, I'll, I'll cap it with this. Acts 25 and 11. He says, for if I be an offender or have committed anything worthy of death, which it is a, a sin punishable by death to teach and not keep the law, right? 
I refuse not to die. Paul said, you got to keep the law and kill me. I refuse not to die if I teach him that, that the law is done away with. But if there uh, be none of these things which have there accused me, no man may deliver me unto them. I appeal to Caesar. So even, the, even though they were accusing Paul of teaching, hey, the law is done away with now. You can just you know live how you want to. He even proved right here there's no truth to that. And if so, kill me now. It didn't happen. Is that clear? I hope so. Go to Romans 6 and 1. Hey, they said let you cook, man. Uh, let them cook. <laughs> God, the book of Romans 6 and 1, when everybody has it, say calm. God. God. <laughs> Look at this verse. <laughs> and let's be intelligent. Right. Read this. God, it's the book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 1. What does this say? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? What does this question mean in plain English? Hmm. See, this is this is what y'all don't want to do with us. Y'all want to make us answer a line of questions. Anybody that go against the Israelites, we have to answer a line of questions. Let me ask you this. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Mm -hmm. Well, here's a hold on before you even get all that. Let me say this too, yeah, and then they want to add yeah. if because you know if we go to answer a question too quickly, they go. Ooh. I, didn't, I didn't expect you to know that. Right. Mm -hmm. And they just want to say they let, want to leave. Let, let me add on to the question because mm -hmm. I got to make it harder for you. Because yeah. why are you so prepared? Yeah. Right. Right. That's right. Right. They do that to us. Right. Right. Start stacking the questions. Yeah, and what do we do? We sit through the line of questions. Yeah, so we gotta wait. Mm -hmm. Who sit through a line of questions for the Israelites, huh? I've been trying to get a Trinity no. debate for three months. No. Why are you running from me? What do I do? I just want to talk. You can't even ask the yes or no question. Niggas quit, after, no niggas quit after the question was asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't even have to challenge you. We just ask you a series of questions ourselves. And I got to go. But let me say this. Yeah. No, what? What? <laughs> Why? All right. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me say this, man. What does this question mean in plain English? I'm asking all of you Christian apologetics. God logic. You know, he tried to get on Deacon. Deacon trying to teach him something. Mm -hmm. He's scoffing Deacon, but Deacon right. is right. Right. And you don't even know. He's spanking this dude. And you don't even know how badly you're <laughs> representing. Right. Because you're unwilling to even think about Deacon right. being right. Mm -hmm. Did anybody watch that? Yes. 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 God logic. What did this question mean? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? that grace may abound. You can't turn sin into rejecting Jesus because the grace is for what? See, the grace is not for rejecting Jesus. So grace came because y'all reject. Grace came because you did what? Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop that. So, so what does this sentence mean in plain English? So what? Should we continue to break God's laws mm -hmm. so that the grace of Jesus Christ can be magnified? Yeah, just because we got grace? That's what that says, right? Right. What is what is the answer to this question? God, God forbid. Let me put that on the screen. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Let's read it again. Go ahead. Nah, from the top. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? What does it say? God forbid. Come on. How shall we? They are dead to sin, live any longer therein. You're supposed to be dead to sin. And guess what we read in Galatians 2. Now you're going to understand the author Paul's train of thought. You're supposed to be dead to sin. And how can we be, be therein if we're dead to it? How can we build again that which we destroyed? Right. Right. You're done now. How can you return to your own bombs? You're done now. You're done. How can I, if I'm supposed to be dead to sin, how can I continue to live in that? How can I build again that which I destroyed? Right. I killed the old man Someone, who right, was a right, sinner. Right, right. That means yeah. you never killed him. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. You never repented. That's it. Them two scriptures together. It is no way that we have Catholics, Baptists, Pentecostals, Seventh-day Adventists, and Mormons, and Jehovah Witnesses. How? how that, what are y'all teaching? How can, how can they... To how, come up with whatever the heck right. they're coming up with. This is so plain. This how is in your face. Yeah. How, how can they claim to teach repentance through Christ <laughs> if you're 
if you're not teaching to keep the laws of God. Sure That's the only way you can repent. It's so many scoffers. I'm looking in the chat. I see you, but I'm I'm trying to make you think about this. Yeah, bro. Like, are you understand that? It? Why are y'all so? We spent the entire beginning of the class explaining to you how we keep feast days, but Dexter says that. Like, come on, man. come on. I'm gonna make you famous. Yeah, come on, yeah. Dex. No Israelite group keep the feast days like First Edges one and twenty. Where does it say we must pay the elders and dress like them? What are you talking about? What? Pay the elders and dress like them. Bro, what are you talking about? I'll talk to you about this and have this conversation with you patiently. Call the number at the bottom of the screen. Hey. See? Call the number at the bottom. It's toll free. Call it. Watch them not do it. Call that number. Punch in that code. It'll let you in the class. Say. When it lets you in the room, say, hello, I'm Dexter. We will talk to you about that exact issue respectfully, because that's why we're on here. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to do it. And we, and we do we it. Are. So with that being said, you do have to try to keep the Passover. You do have to keep the new moon and the first fruits and the yeah, tabernacles. Yeah. You do. You do have to keep that, right? Right. right. That's right. But the way that you keep it now is through Christ. You have to. He is your door. I want Christ to justify me. I have to stop sinning. Not keeping the commandments is sinning. The commandments say keep the feast days. I'm going to keep the feast days through Christ. Right, right. Now I can hope to be justified through Christ because I am earnestly keeping the feast days in your name. Mm -hmm. And Christ taught that. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. Christ taught that, man. This is easy to understand. But it's not a party. Mm -hmm. When you go to that Passover, you got to go in the right spirit. Yeah. Say let's get to this. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 11. Oh, first and let's read verse 27. Oh. Now, this is right after the Lord taught you to order. Yeah. Read verse 17, 17 rather. Con. This is the book of First Corinthians. Let me put it on the screen. Chapter 11 and verse 17. When you're there, say con. con. You heard that? With the Galatians back and forth with the Romans 6. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, in this that I declare unto you, I praise you not that you come together not for the better, but for the worse. I gotta put this on the screen. That cut a lot of people. Yeah. Because even Solomon taught that. Passover is not a party. <clears throat> Passover is not a party. Y'all don't come together for the better, but actually for the worse. Sure. How is that possible? Yeah. Because <laughs> Solomon taught you that the that the day of mourning is better than the day of mirth. A fool is in the day of mirth, but the wise is in the day of mourning. <laughs> Passover is not a party. Your presence is not why we came to Passover to meet and see you. No, it's not about you. you didn't come to Passover to see me. You didn't come to Passover to see uh, Captain Asha Allah and shake hands with Yaquab Aharon. I watch, I watch bar for bar every Saturday. That's not why you came to Passover. But some of y'all is coming to Passover for those reasons. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all is going to Passover because everybody going to be there. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. Some of you are coming together not for the better, but for the worse. Read on. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, close that door. Uh, the, the 18, you want me to jump to 27? Right, like, read 18. Uh, 18. For first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you. And I partly believe it. First of all, when y'all come together, some of y'all haven't even reconciled with one another. Mm -hmm. And y'all out here teaching reconciliation. Right. I almost believe that. Yeah. I'm not going to be around brothers on this solemn day who I don't have peace with. I'm not going to be at the Passover cutting my eyes at a brother I don't like. And going out of my way to be extra loud and friendly 
with the other brothers to let him know that I'm cool with them, but I don't like you. <laughs> I would not do that. I was I would abstain from the feast and stay home and keep it in my attic with my family. You can't do this. Read on. For there must be also heresies among you that they which are approved may be manifest among you. So you got people that come to your Passover and they don't even believe in the doctrine that you teach. Right. And they're there because it's the place to be. Yeah. That don't even make sense. Because <laughs> it's popping. Mm -hmm. Passover is not a party. I want to see how SOT Passover is. I want to see how they Passover look. How they how when they do their meal, how that look. What, 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 how they ceremony go? I want some of they land. Who, who's performing at the end? They gonna have yeah because they be having row eight at the at the at the top of their class. Is he gonna be there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, man. No, y'all's a bad. I like that song. He he might do it at the Passover. I want I want to see that. What? Now I don't I don't go with all they doctrine that they teach. You know, them brothers, man, they don't know it. You can't for a concert, hear, but they music good. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> Passover is not a party. Nope. nope. Passover is the memorial of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ going to that uh torture device that took his life so that we may have life. Mm -hmm. That's what we do Passover in memorial of. Right. Now we're gonna talk about Moses and the greatness of his delivering the Israelites out of captivity. And we hope that the Lord immediately delivers from this captivity as soon as we're done with the last prayer. Yeah. Soon. All right? But we're going to do it in the spirit of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. I just want to, I'm going slow so they can track what we're saying. Read on. Oh, number one. When you come together, therefore into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. Some of y'all coming to the Passover because you like the way uh, our Levite makes food and you want to eat and you want to bring three plates home and your spirit is I paid my way I better get this much food and some of y'all spirit is I paid my way I better get this many to go plates too yeah, right. <laughs> And you never did that at no other banquet in your life. Nope. And you've been to banquets before. Some of y'all, I know y'all have. You never did that. But with this one, because it's the Israelites and because it's Passover, you're going to do that. Hey, yo, um, I'm going to ban you from the channel. We have patience for you, but what I'm talking about is so important. I can't suffer you to distract the people. Yo. You did not come to the Passover to eat. Right. That's true. But y'all charged this. Yeah. Because somebody charged us that to <laughs> use the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Hold on. Bring it out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why y'all charge all that money to do the Passover? Because they charge us all that money to host it. You thought it was gonna take a lot to answer that? No, man. You did. We we had to pay for the building, and then they charged us for the tables and chairs. <laughs> then they charged us for the time in the building. Yep, exactly like that. Don't people gotta eat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, they charge us for the food. Don't let, don't let it look like it's gonna go over. <laughs> the, the lady going to show up, be pacing back and forth. Remember that? Yeah. Clock. What y'all doing here? What is this? Yeah. That's why we ain't doing it there anymore. We found another place. We away from that devil. This is cool. Unbelievable. Yes. Huh? Well, I'm going to ban you. I'm going to ban you from the channel, too. We don't need you. He subscribed in order to say that. Just to say that. Because I turned on the you have to subscribe to be able to comment. Some of y'all weird. Listen to me. <laughs> they charged us for the tablecloths. <laughs> Listen yeah. to me. They charged us for the sound system just so we could be heard. So when you say, well, why I got to pay this and whoop, whoop the... The people that be saying that be showing up with nine people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And nothing in their hand. 
And we're not asking you to bring nothing, but I'm just yeah. saying, why are you complaining? Because you got everything you could want. Right. But the thing about it is, you want what you want. Mm -hmm. You don't care if anybody else gets. Right. And that's what Paul is teaching. Sending their kids to get seconds and thirds. And... When you come to this place, it's not to eat. Mm -hmm. Read on. For in eating, everyone taketh before another his own supper. And one is hungry and another is drunk. And some of y'all can't wait till we hurry up and finish mm -hmm. so that y'all can make a beeline over to the strong drink that you ain't bring nothing to. And you got a cup with ice and you got your drink and finished it while standing there so that you can have your second one. Mm -hmm. Now you want to go laugh and talk and take pictures. So now you drunk and you over here, you you didn't just get in line and get food. You got to go plates your first time through to make sure that when you want to eat later, you got that and you sat that on your table and it got cold. And at the end of the night, you turned it upside down and threw it in the trash. Mm -hmm. Fact. But somebody else that was really hungry and was at the back of the line because we let the women and children go first, he, by the time he got to the good food, it wasn't much for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you you took three helpings and ended up throwing them away because you felt entitled to that. First Corinthians is cutting your ass. Cutting you down. Read it again. For in eating, everyone taketh before another his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunk. What did Paul say? Read on. What? Have you not your own houses to eat and drink in? Hey, yo, if you come, don't come to Passover hungry. I had to leave it like that. Yes, right, right. Don't come to Passover hungry. Period. This is period right there. I'm going to save room for the Passover meal. No. No. Eat at your house. Make a whole, make a whole meal. Read on. Or despise ye the church of God and shame them that have not. You didn't even think for one second that a brother gave his last or needed help to even be at the Passover and humbled himself so that he could be there. And he don't have nothing. All he had was money to get to Atlanta, get his hotel room and be at the Passover feast mm -hmm. so that he could pay attention and, and give all his energy to serve his God. And you didn't even think about him when you was making three plates. Because he wasn't even going to eat at the Passover. He was going to get his first plate and box that and go put it in the car and come back and be brotherly with everybody. Mm -hmm. And when he got back to the room, he was going to yeah, chow down because that's his dinner for tonight. That was his. And then he got to go home tomorrow. His flight's early. Huh? You don't care about him. You didn't even think you despise him. Because you only care about yourself. First Corinthians is kicking you down a flight of stairs. Read on. <laughs> what shall I say to you? What, what should I say? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. Yeah. No. No. I'm telling you, don't come. You're like this, don't come. Stay home. Stay home. Now watch this. Did Israel pay Moses to attend the Lord feast days? Did all of Israel dress like Aaron and his sons? Now, what, I, I said there's a number on the bottom of the screen. So what he did was he made a new account, but I put a number at the bottom of the screen. I've been scrolling for an hour now. We're not going to disrespect you. I will take this question and I will go through this with you. Call that number. When it says announce yourself, say this is Dexter. I have a question. We're going to, whatever we're in the middle of talking about, we're going to suspend and we're going to take this question right here. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it on the screen. It's right there. Read on. <laughs> Their favorite thing is y'all running. Yeah. They learned that from us. Y'all yeah. yeah. cut. Who taught you cut? No, you, no, you, no, you know why no, I was saying that. that. They don't say that in church. Little old no. Christian videos, they never say such right. Now everybody's cut. And now everybody's confounded. You don't even know what that means. Where you get that from? Read. Verse 23.
for I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Shai, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Come on. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. You'll find that this is a unique scripture. Yeah. You will find that this is a unique scripture. When we, the, the Passover meal requires you to eat lamb, right? And bitter herbs and unleavened bread. Mm -hmm. We teach that the feast of unleavened bread begins on the evening of the Passover. Mm -hmm. And you must eat unleavened bread until the 21st day at evening. If you count from even to even, it will be seven days from the beginning of the Passover to the 20 and first day at evening. And that is the way that we observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Right. We do not teach that the Feast of Unleavened Bread begins the next day at nope. evening. And we teach that because of Luke chapter 22. Read that real quick. So we do the mathematical count. But it also says it in the scripture, all right? That's the way we observe. Did I say anybody else was wrong for trying to keep Passover no, no, and do it do it the way that they see? No. I didn't say that. I said, this is how we observe. Dexter, it's a number at the bottom of the screen. I'm, I'm just inviting him. It's a number at the bottom because he he's missing the power of what we've been moved to talk about tonight, which is to put people in the right spirit to keep the Passover. There's people in other camps watching this. Yeah. They're going to do Passover Monday too. You know what they're going to say? SOT helped us observe our... It ain't got to come to ours. Mm -hmm. And that's the spirit we got. Right. Dexter, call a number. It's toll free, brother. Read that. Mr. Luke 22. Mr. 1. The book of Luke, chapter 22 and verse 1. Now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. Mm. That would it say. Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah. Now, <laughs> when you look at our calendar, you may get confounded. Let's look at this. If you look at it, it says the Passover, April 22nd to the 28th. To you, that seems like six days. Mm -hmm. Listen to this, and I'm gonna do this with you one time because it's it's tedious. April 22nd at evening to the 23rd at evening. Is one day. Twenty third at evening to the twenty fourth at evening, two days. Twenty fourth that evening to the twenty fifth that evening, three. Twenty fifth that evening, twenty sixth that evening, four. Twenty sixth that evening, twenty seventh that evening, five. Twenty seventh that evening to twenty eighth that evening, six. So you say, how is the Passover from April twenty second to the twenty eighth? Wait. 28th at evening to the 29th that evening. Seven. But at the 29th that evening, are we still in Passover? No. The Passover is over. Because a new day has started. So right. this is how long you will observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Because on the 29th at evening, Passover is done. So I'm going to have to start putting 22nd. At even, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to, See the the twenty eighth at evening is the last day, but it, some people don't understand that. You make it plain, more plain. So we explained it to you. That's why we Passover is not a party, nope. and we're showing you something. Yep. If you come into our Passover, you should definitely be on this class. Yep. Yep. Why wouldn't you? Why, why would you come to SOT Passover if you don't study with us? Strange. You all understand? No. All right. Kidding. Good. You, we're going to do the Passover how? In remembrance of Christ. So we're not doing the Passover to prove that we are the aficionados of keeping the law. No. We are doing it to remember Yahweh Shai. That's why we do it. That's the reason why we get to keep Passover. That's, that's a good con. Read on. Verse 25. After the same manner... Also, he took the cup which he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament 
in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. This is not communion. Hold on. Who told you to do communion? It says as often as you drink it. <laughs> Y'all doctrines are sad and lazy. So as often as you drink it is as often as you do communion. Is that what this verse was about? What would be the often? Passover. As often as you do it. As often as you keep Passover, drink this in remembrance of me. Come on, guys. Come on, man. What else would it be? What, we, what else would it be? <laughs> Read on. For as often as you eat this bread. What is this bread, Aharon? What bread we eating? The unleavened bread. How often do you eat unleavened bread? Passover. During the Passover. Come on, Here. now. Go ahead. And drink this cup. Ye do show the Lord's death till he come. I said it at the beginning, and I know a thousand people scoff me. We do the Passover to remember the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Till Christ comes back. So that means you're supposed to keep doing it till the Messiah comes Did back. it say do it in the land? Nope. No. In remembrance. Do it in remembrance of me. Go ahead. All right. Uh, verse 27. Wherefore... Whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. You know what's going to make you unworthy? Trottening the sacrifice of Jesus Christ underfoot is what make you unworthy. Go to Hebrews 6. Let's do that one first. You know we go straight to Hebrews 10, right? Yeah, Hebrews 10. So Hebrew 6 is worse. It's, cold, it's, it's impossible. Cold, uh, impossible. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 6 and verse 4. Start yeah. at verse 3. I'm going to take this off the screen because we're going to come back to this. Con, when you dare say con. I'm going to take that off the screen We're gonna until we come back to that. Just listen now. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Hebrews 6 and verse 3. And this will we do if God permit. Only if God permit. For it is impossible for those who are once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the word to come. Come on, world to come. World to come. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance. It's impossible. It's, it's, that might be the only thing that's impossible in the scripture as far as what you can Impossible. Can't do it. Can't do it. If you fall away, you're done. That's why the brother, when he put down Christ, he was done. It's over with. You was a reprobate. Reprobate. As soon as you put down your house, you finish. Yeah. Now we can't renew you to repentance because he put the law down right after that. Yeah. Yeah. Impossible. And said, I'm done with this. Exactly. Now I'm going to put this back on the screen. Damn, that's why they scared of that word, reprobate. You're unworthy if you are going back to your old ways and then you popped up on the day of memorializing the man who was sent to die to wash your old ways and you went back to your old ways in spite of him and you're at his feast. You eating and drinking the cup of the Lord unworthily and you're going to be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. That's right. That's the future. I'm going to tell you this. I know you know you're an Israelite, and that's what you do now. You might have a sister or a brother, they deep in it, or your parents are deep in it, or you got a, 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 a spouse that's deep in it. And I go to the feast day sometimes. I go to the, I go to the, yeah, oh, I like SOT. They cool. Oh, man, they, they eat good, too. Oh, man, they fun. They so friendly. And them brothers know stuff, too. I'll be learning. Yeah, yeah, I like them guys. Now, I, ain't, now I still got more work to do. You know, I, I ain't all the way in that Israelite thing, but I understand it. And I like them brothers, man. Oh, man, man. Mike Hyatt, man, he's, I love Mike Hyatt. They got a big brother with him, Nehemiah. Man, he's so friendly, man. I love his brother. And they, and they, they man, but I ain't ready to come in this thing like, like that, like that. I just like being around you, brother. Oh, yeah. But I'm gonna be at Passover though. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, I'm going. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Oh, I gotta fly. I'm gonna get my hair done too. No, they Passover gonna be lit. It's always beautiful too. I'm gonna go. No, no, you're not. I'm gonna tell you this. Don't come. Listen to me. Sit at home and prove your own self whether you be in the faith. And think about it for a minute. Do I like the idea of the Israelite and what they teach and how they go against the, the oppressor and they speak so powerfully? Or am I in this thing? Because if you're not in this thing, do not come to Passover. Right. It's true. It's very true. Say it again. You're wearing an Israelite costume. It's not cosplay, bro. This is a solemn assembly. Sacred. So important. That's right. It's an honor for me to be able to officiate. It's an honor for me to watch brothers do the do the teaching and and it's an honor to send up them prayers, man. When we send up the curses on the heathen, which is my favorite part, we're, we're asking you how to kill and destroy them for what they did to our forefathers. And we trying to move the one true living God to move on them, man. Yeah. And we close, man. Look at Israel and Iran. That's right. Ask for the heathen. <laughs> Ask me for the heathen. I'll give them to you as your inheritance. Yeah. Let them let them blow each other up out the land. And, and out of those ashes comes the new earth. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning yeah, of the next. That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> Brothers talking about what they don't know. I'm going to address everything. Y'all, I don't care. Did, did brothers learn that about me yet? I don't care. I'm not politically correct. I address everything and I stand on what I say. You can't hold me. I'm going to say what I want. So, brother, you do not go. Call the number at the bottom, man. Do brothers understand? Like, yo, call this number. And because I keep saying this, it's on the screen. Yeah. Did Israel pay Moses to attend the Lord's feast day? Yes. Oh, since he's since he since he's not gonna deal, let's prove it. Go to Deuteronomy. You know what I want. Fourteen and and it started twenty five. Yes. Because Moses represents Levi. Yeah, they paid him. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14 and verse 25. Just seeing that on the screen had me tight, and I just got mad. All right. And, and it reads. No, jump back up. Yeah, verse uh, 24. Yeah. And if the way be too long for thee, so that thou art not able to carry it. This is talking about what you bring to the feast. Yeah. You're supposed to bring something to the feast. You're not supposed to show up empty-handed. Right. Right. When did, 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 did Israel have to pay Moses to attend the feast? No, they didn't. They, they brought something. Right. So yes. And who did they give it to? The Levites. The Levites. So did they pay or not? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Did all of Israel dress like Aaron and his son? That's next. But read this. Or if the place be too far from thee. Which the Lord thy God shall choose. Scoffing is played out. Yeah. Read it again, all right, from the top. And if the way be too long for thee, so that thou art not able to carry it, or if the place be too far from thee, which the Lord thy God shall choose to set his name there, when the Lord thy God hath blessed thee, come on, then shalt thou turn it into money, and bind up the money in thine hand, mm -hmm. and shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. Read. And thou shalt bestow that money. What the what, what does the word bestow mean? Give. What do the word bestow mean, Dexter? Because you don't have to scoff. You could talk to us regular. You could say, "Hey, listen, I have a sincere question. Yeah. I don't I don't understand why you charge people to come to Passover. Can, mm -hmm. can you explain that?" Yeah. But you you think you have already made it up in your mind that them Israelites just want to rob people. They just want your money. Yeah. Yeah, and they want to be said. What? I got a question. Who's that? Oh no, that's my name. Are you Dexter? No, 
All right, you got to hold on. So, Israel, did you, you just want our money. You just want to be seen of all the people, right? They've made their mind up that about us. And that's the way they talk about us, man. Yep. They don't know we'll do anything. What do we do? It's no reason to talk about it. It ain't no reason to talk about it, man. We love our people, man. We'll do anything for you, man. <laughs> Read that again, all right? And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy... Sorry, verse 25. Then shall thou turn it into money. Come on. And bind up the money in thine hand. Read. And shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. Okay. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusted after. For what? For oxen. For what? Or for sheep. For what? Or for wine. For what? Or for strong drink. And for what? Or for whatsoever thy soul desires. So oh. it's on yeah. us to pay for all of that. Yes, it is. But you can have some. As much as you want of it, but we got to find a way to pay for it. But you want some sheep, you want some lamb, you want some wine, you want some strong drink, you want some of the wonderful food, you want some of that, right? But it's our job to pay for it so you can have as much of that as you want. Did Israel have to pay Moses to attend the feast? Yes. The hell is wrong with you? You didn't even know that was in the Bible. He didn't know that. Else he wouldn't have said that. Right. Read, <laughs> and thou shalt what? Eat. And th and thou shalt eat there before the Lord thy God. And what? And thou shalt rejoice, thou <laughs> and thine household. That's what I plan to do. That's what I plan to do. So that your family can eat and rejoice. But if I plan to do it because I'm sold out for this Israelite That's thing. That's right. I really believe that I'm an Israelite. I really believe the Bible. I really believe Christ is going to return. And save us from this captivity and we will ever be with the lord That's right. i really believe it so i want to go to passover That's right. but if you don't believe that and this you're not set to live this way don't come you shouldn't even eat the Passover. and if you're predisposed to come where you have no choice but to be there don't eat the passover just stand with your hands folded and your head bowed i'm telling you now and if you i think the most high will have mercy why? Because we're doing this through Christ. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to do while you're standing there with your hands folded and your head bowed, mm -hmm. I want you to be praying for the Most High to help you be one way and not double-hearted. Mm -hmm. And and ask him to fortify and strengthen you. And should this kingdom last where there is another Passover, that then you may be worthy to eat. Right. I'm asking you to do that. Hold on, pause for a minute. That's deep. Brother on the call, uh, you quit. You got a. You said you had a question. What's your question? Yeah, yeah I think you just answered when you said um, um, not to do it because I'm out when I'm not around to have an assembly, but I wanted to have a Passover, so I was going to do it at my house by myself, and I um I was going to um, um I got some crackers with no um um leaven in it. And I was gonna. I got. I got some um, parsley for my herbs, and I was gonna. Mm -hmm. I was gonna try to do it myself in my house by myself. But I know I'm not gonna be able to assemble with no one. But I be looking at y'all brothers all the time, so I'm trying to um, get more involved with the feast days. And I I, 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 I do the Sabbath. I'm doing that now, but I'm not in the shape or condition right now this year not to be able to. Uh, assemble within the in, in the brothers or or, or I'm, I'm in Tampa. I haven't been able to assemble with no one, so I've been doing everything and learning right online, like what we're doing now on YouTube. But I appreciate y'all brothers that's out there, and one day I'm gonna come see you. Oh, praise but, um, praise you asked the question. I think I should not do it because I won't be able to have the um the um congregation or be with the with the brothers or the, the church. Not so fast. At that particular time too. Not so fast. Do it, do it properly. Not so fast. My first Passover, I did it at my house by myself. Same. 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 You're not alone. Same. Brother, you're not alone. Same. I had to listen to it. Okay. I had to listen to it audio via conference call, the same phone number, but a different number, but the same conference call service. I listened to the service. I had collard greens was my herbs. <laughs> I had some lamb that I made myself. I seasoned it with salt. That's the only seasoning. It's just salt. We're not getting Lowry's and all of that yeah, extra. Yeah, just salt, salt, a pinch for taste. Mm -hmm. Right? And I sat at the kitchen table myself, listened to the call, and I had a little wine 
and I and I that was my Passover. Oh, same way. And then the year after that, I traveled to New York and I gathered. So you, so brother, your Passover is magnificent. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. You're doing what? Why? Because okay. you're doing the best you can. This is what That's Paul right. was talking about. Right. This is what it means to do it right. in the spirit of Christ. Exactly. What you trying to do? Right. You understand that? Right. So don't don't feel like that. Our conference call, that same phone call, gonna be live. And we're going to be talking and you can hear us. Mm -hmm. That's for everybody who don't want to do the Patreon, who don't want to do the YouTube membership. We're going to have that conference call. So much right. You said what? I took a weight. You took a weight off my heart. Yeah. Hey, you listen to the brother. My heart, cause I, that thing was, I, I thought I was going to do it, but then when I was listening to you, brother, I said, man, I, I can't do this thing. I can't do it right. Because I'm, my household is not in the unity to do it. On the way that I want them to do it, to participate it with me, because they not they not into it. My, I got a son and a wife; mm -hmm. and they not into it. So I, my my family is not even on the same line with me. Mm -hmm. So I'm I, I, I can't I do the things like cleaning out the leaven and all that stuff. You know, just everything out your house. You're supposed to get all that out and yeah. clean. You know, clean up everything so you won't have. Um, on that particular day, the way you, you know, but the way I've been understanding, you got to get all that leaven, unleavened stuff out of your house and bread. I can't do that because I, I, I have a war. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so that's what I got to go through right now, dealing, dealing with unbelievers. Because, you know, because I'm, I'm wearing the fringes and I, I honor it. I honor the, the, the Sabbath. And I love doing that and I want to do more. So now I'm studying the feast days to make sure I get a, a better understanding of, of that, you know, and, 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 and I'm hoping that in the future, I'm going to be able to get with you brothers. Cause one day I'm going to come down and I'm coming to the land and check y'all brothers out. That's Lord real. willing. That's, that's for real. So keep, keep on doing what y'all doing. I'm going to try to support y'all the best I can, but I appreciate what y'all brothers are doing for, for me. Cause I really enjoy you guys. All praises to the most high. And I'll catch up. Hallelujah. I'll catch up with y'all one time in the future. Hallelujah. Lord willing, Lord willing. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Everybody understand? So that's the attitude, man. Yeah, how was Shai's feast okay. day wasn't extravagant? They was in the upper room and he had to die later. Oh. Ah. Okay. Now, 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 past the Sabbath, I would just listen to you. I got to do these other seven days. Because I would listen to another brother. He said that I have to eat a piece of a piece yeah we're gonna teach it just lock in we about to teach it do i have to eat we're gonna teach seven it seven days is after the the, the, the passover we about do to I teach to it eat a piece? we're gonna explain all of that okay lock in listen to us close okay we're about to explain all that okay so now okay but the the, the step we are now israel is if you're doing this in the first place come go go to Sirach, man Chapter two, man. Now we gotta talk about that double heart. Come not unto uh, him. Uh, that's uh, the right two. one. Oh no, that's right two. Yeah, double Sorry. heart. Two, 13, maybe twelve. Yes, Lord. Good. Start at verse uh twelve. This is the book of Sirach, chapter two and verse twelve. Go ahead. Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands. Mm -hmm. And the sinner that goeth two ways. The most high not dealing with that. Mm -mm. You can't come to Passover if you're going two ways. If you you at Passover because all your buddies there and it's the thing to do, but as soon as you leave Passover, you a nigga again. You can't do right. this. Yeah. You're gonna die. Let's go back to First Corinthians and prove that. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. He said it plain. Yeah. You are sick. Let's prove this now. We ain't even get to how to keep Passover. Mm -hmm. First, we're going to qualify you if you even need to be doing this. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to put that back on the screen. <clears throat> hey, man. it's hey, At the end of the day, man, we taught it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I sometimes go like, how can we do a better job? Man, we're doing the best we can. But whether you like it, understand it, believe it or not, man, we taught it, man. We did it. We taught right. it, man. That's right. You know, yeah, how we put the spirit on us and we taught it, man. Read this. Verse yeah. 27. This book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 27. Mm -hmm. 
Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Come on. But let a man examine himself. Say it again. But let a man examine himself. If you're not willing to do this, why are you eating Passover? If you're not willing to examine yourself, am I in this? Like, is this what I do now? If somebody come and ask me about the faith that I follow, can I confess it? Or is it just like, hey, bro, bro I'm not really like into it like that. Like maybe later, you know, down the line. But right now, you know, it's just like, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out everything right now. But I know it's, I know it's the truth, but, you know, like I'm just not there yet. Yeah. If you're talking like that, don't eat. Yeah. Read again the whole thing. Wherefore, what's no 28? But let a man examine himself. Come on. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Only after examining yourself. Verse 29. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Hold on. Mm. Let <laughs> that marinate. You're Ishing on you're taking a dump on your Shai sacrifice when you eat the Passover, but you ain't serious. Right. You're making a joke out of Christ because the whole thing is an observance of respect for his sacrifice. And if you eat the Passover and you're not really into the thing, you're basically making a joke out of it. And you're going to die. You're going to die. Mm -hmm. Verse six. Read again. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Make sure we mute our phones on the conference call if we're not speaking. Make sure we mute our phones. Not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Because people just eat the Passover for nothing, a lot of y'all have sicknesses and a lot of y'all have passed away because the Holy Spirit killed y'all. Mm. They know that. They know that can happen. That's in the Bible. That's in the New Testament. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. didn't know that can happen. Mm -hmm. Why is niggas doing Passover in the New Testament if the Lord's done away with? Why? Bingo. What are we doing? How do any of these other religions exist? Mm -hmm. Islam, what? Why? <laughs> Why? For what? Why are you, why are you Christ wasn't crucified. What is this? Yeah. What are we reading? It only appeared so. Well, I, I threw that book across the street. Yeah. I threw the. I took the Quran and launched it when I read that. Yeah. Get this out of here. Ain't no knowledge in this text. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Ramadan. <laughs> Where's Day of Atonement at, man? <laughs> I be getting mad because how? How are you using Paul to say we don't have to keep the commandments when Paul has an entire lecture on how to properly keep the Passover? Y'all right. cut, man. Read on. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. If we had the ability to slow down and judge our own heart and think on our ways and change, we shall not be judged. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's, That's it, man. That's, mm -hmm. Come on, man. It's the Bible, man. That's right. That's how you use Paul's letters. He said, judge yourself. Right. Know ye not your own selves. Yeah. That's how you use Paul's letters, right? We just showed you. Yeah. Right. Some 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 Israelites in 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 in, in the in the future. That's right. Two uh, uh you know, was 2024? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Almost two thousand years from when this was written. We showed you how to use this. That's right. That's right. What y'all doing, man? What, what, what are you thinking about? So now, we're going to move along a little bit so we can take some questions. Here's the law of the Passover. Go to Exodus. I believe I want 14. I want just the ordinance. Go to 
Exodus 12 and start at Ooh. 43. I got that circle, but I'm like, do we do we need to skip anything? Uh, just just for some backstory, started started 39. <clears throat> just for a little backstory. Rick? It's the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 39. And they baked unleavened cakes of the dough which they brought forth out of Egypt. For it was not leavened, because they were thrust out of Egypt and could not tarry. Neither had they prepared for themselves any uh, victuals. Now the sojourning of the children of Israel who dwelt in Egypt was for. Oh, about it. I'm trying to put that on the screen while you was reading. Slugging. Yo, they baked unleavened cakes. Yeah. Because they were thrust out of Egypt and could not tarry. Meaning they could not wait for the bread to rise. Right, right. Very key. There is no leaven in water. Stop doing that. Wait, what? Let me see if it's on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't think pure sodium lesion. bicarbonate. They said that that's leaven. It's no leaven. <laughs> it's on here. They said that that's baking soda. Some bottles will say lemon on it. Can I make bread with this water? No. no. Can I put this water in an oven and it's gonna rise? No. It's gonna turn to steam. I... Right. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's gonna rise in the air. Don't do that. Long story. We had a brother to come to our Passover as a guest, <laughs> and. Before the feast even got started, y'all pour out this water. Y'all can't use this water. It got sodium bicarbonate. That's leaven. No, the leaven we're talking about is that which can rise dough. So you want to get your cereals, your grains, your batters, your baking mixes, your baking soda. You want to get those things out. Your cookies. You want to get those things out. Your cereals. Fish food. If you got animals. Yeah, your mat, your batters and your mixes, right? Your pancake mix. Now, if you cannot afford to throw it away, we are doing this feast in Christ. We're not doing the Passover so that we can say we followed the law of the Passover perfect. <clears throat> We're doing the Passover in Christ. Yes, yeast extract is a leavening agent, right? So if you have control over where you live and power over that and you cannot afford to just cast these breads away, your soups, your canned soups got leaven in them too, got yeast in them. Beer, certain wines, yeah. Hennessy, yeah. Yeah. certain liquors yeah. got yeast in it. Take that and put it outside your home. Put it in your garage. That's outside of where you dwell. You don't sleep in the garage. You don't dwell in the garage. You put your car there. Your car dwell there. I don't have a garage. Put it in the trunk of your car. I'm saying that because the prices of food is very high, and a lot of us cannot afford to just throw away food. Right? Certain vinegars. Eggs, no, that's not. Eggs is not leaven. Ketchup. Eggs rice. are eggs. Yeah, rice is not have a leaven. You should look in the back to make sure, but most rice is not going to have a leaven. No, rice, rice is, is rice. Rice, yeah. Unless, right? unless it's like some made in a bag, pre made. No. Brother said, can you fact check that Henny having yeast? He won his yak. No. <laughs> you, you, Google it. you fact check it. Google it and put it in the God. chat. God. You fact check it. God. You fact check it and uh, be, yeah, fully, actually, brother, be fully convinced in your own mind, <laughs> right? Some of you don't live with people who observe the Passover. You're not going to be able to get no leaven out. It's okay. We're doing this through Christ. What we do, we we just eat. We have a, a leaven party. We eat all that pizza, bread. Yep. We have a barbecue and get all the buns, use them all up. Yep. So we get rid of it. Okay. Read on. 
come. Verse 40. Now the sojourning of the children of Israel who dwelt in Egypt was 430 years. One. And it came to pass at the end of the 430 years, even the selfsame day, it came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. Come on. It is a night to be much observed unto the Lord for, for bringing them out of the land of Egypt. That is that night of the Lord to be observed of all the children of Israel in mm. their generations. Mm. That's why Christ was doing it. That's right. He's a child of Israel. Yep. Right. Oh, so like you. To me, this also will lend to our count because it's showing you on the Passover that night is, is the unleavened bread. So it starts that night. The self same day. The self, self same day. day. That's why we're eating unleavened bread. Right. Yes. That's Mark 14 and 12 as well. But you know what I'm saying? This just lends to the point. See, because if you just go by Leviticus 23, mm -hmm. when we do the count, it won't match up if you move the Feast of Unleavened Bread a day forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you got to get fancy and start saying a day is really just daytime. <laughs> it's not a 24-hour period. But then that goes against Leviticus 23 because the day the day of atonement is a 24-hour period. Right. You know, I, But I don't want to get all technical. Uh, read on. And the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron, this this is the ordinance of the Passover. There shall no stranger eat thereof. What does that mean? Stop. Before you get <laughs> yeah, fancy uh, and try to <laughs> go I know, I know you want to me with and skip this yeah, and go ahead and say, well, there, well, the stranger can eat. He just has to. No, wait, wait. What did that say? What does it say? There shall no, no stranger, stranger eat thereof. Do it say that? Yes. Yes. So then can a stranger eat it? No. Why? Because the law says so. Yeah. But, the, but the people that debate us act like they can't read. But, so now there's two strangers? <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. But every man's servant that is brought for money, when thou hast circumcised him, then shall he eat thereof. I got to circumcise my servant. Yes. Mm -hmm. But no means. but no stranger shall eat. And then they say, well, that just means until he's circumcised. No, he no, no stranger shall eat thereof, colon, mm -hmm. but every man's servant that is bought for money, when thou hast circumcised him, then he shall eat. Who is that servant there? My possession, according to Leviticus 25 and 45. That's my possession. <laughs> I'm passing him down. <laughs> Reading that verse. <laughs> God. And a foreigner... And in hired servant shall not eat thereof. This is a heathen. Yeah, that's right. He can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. This is an Israelite that is in servitude to you, mm -hmm. who can choose to leave after the year of Jubilee yep. and yep. take his family with him. Yeah. This person can never leave, and the children born of him belong to you. I spoke too early. That's what I was talking about. Leviticus 25. I knew 25. it. I knew it. Read on. Come. Uh, verse 46. In one house shall it be eaten. Thou shalt not carry forth aught of the flesh abroad out of the house. Neither shall ye break a bone thereof. So now the true ordinance is to get you a, a lamb without blemish or spot and to cook him even with his guts inside. And you're going to eat flesh off of him in commemoration. And then you're going to burn him as a sacrifice and none of his flesh shall remain. So you're not going to eat more of this later because they couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. right. So if you observing the Passover and you're doing it like they doing it, it just got to be done. All right. Read on. All the congregation of Israel shall keep it. <laughs> Come on. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee. And will keep the Passover to the Lord. Let all his males be circumcised. And then let him come near and keep it. And he shall be as one that is born in the land. Very key. For no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. Now, a person, the law is saying you got to be circumcised. But because we're doing this in Christ and we have the New Testament. We know that that burden right there mm -hmm. is too much for the children to bear. A grown man having his flesh cut. And and this ordinance does not make you whole if right. you're still a sinner. Right. Mm -hmm. 
So if a brother want to get circumcised, that's a great thing. However, getting circumcised does not absolve you of sin. It is merely a keeping of the commandments. Yeah, right. yeah. So circumcision is nothing. Paul taught you that. Yeah, right. And he's a, a Hebrew of Hebrews. Yeah. Right. And he, he's telling you, hey, listen, bro. You can't <laughs> keep the law unless you were circumcised on the eighth day anyway. Yeah, right. But if you want to eat Passover, it says no uncircumcised person shall eat. Guess what? When you do it through Christ, you can eat. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of Christ. Because you're not doing the Passover in a legalistic sense right. as the ordinance that Moses gave. Because that ordinance has rules contrary to you. Right. Now you got to get circumcised, grown man. It's going to suffer. You're going to suffer. Mm -hmm. But Christ nailed those ordinances to the cross. Right. Now you can just circumcise your heart and go forward, keep the, keeping the commandments. And that is your circumcision. Right. That's, that's why we need the New Testament for comfort, bro. That's, that's right. and, you, know what's interesting? you put the New Testament down, you are crazy. Yeah, you're you know what's interesting about this, too? Like Israelites are being told you need to be circumcised. But the law says on the eighth day. So you so you missed you, you missed the missed, boat anyway. You missed the eighth day, bro. Mm -hmm. You receive when you receive the law, you must circumcise your son on the eighth day. You missed that. Yeah. You're receiving that now. This needs yeah. to be carried out. So now, a man wants to come keep uh, Passover. He got to be circumcised now. Yeah. Even then, there were things contrary to you. Oh, I want to put had to come. I want to put this back on the screen for a second. <clears throat> what does that say? A foreigner and a hired servant shall not eat thereof. Oh, can't do it. <laughs> you can't keep Passover. But you, you're gonna argue he can when he gets circumcised. No, no. Does that say that? No. no, no. So that means that the person who's being circumcised is an Israelite, is an Israelite right, 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 right. that was come amongst you from another place, and he desires to keep the Passover. Mm -hmm. Right. right. That's what he should be as one. And he don't have nothing, but he want to sojourn with you. Mm -hmm. So he got to work for you and be a servant. But he want to take the Passover because it's for him to do. Mm -hmm. He got to be circumcised. Can a natural heathen do it? No. Y'all nope. nope. don't deal with us when we prove this to you. You teach this inside out. Like you, you skip a couple verses, then you back up mm -hmm. and then you go back again to make it work for you but if you just read it as it is it's for the israelites to do okay and that stranger that sojourn that's an israelite and if it's not then this law don't make no sense so what does it mean that he should be as one born in the land he'll be as if he was always amongst you yeah. and kept your customs since birth yeah. he didn't do that though he just joined y'all yeah. but but again like you still trying to bring the heathen in, but what do this say? What do this say? A foreigner, a heathen, and a hired servant shall not eat thereof. What business does an Egyptian have eating a pat? That doesn't even make right. sense. Right. 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 That, nigga is about to, that nigga is about to come to your Passover and then go bow down to Ra. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. What are you That's talking Ruth. about? Egyptian the Passover is Dylan Roof. And, and I know you hate that doctrine. But Deuteronomy 29 don't save you either. No, no. Go back to that class and get cooked. It does not. Read this. Verse 49. One law shall be to him that is home born and unto the stranger that so joineth among you. That's the law of Israel. You was home born. You knew what advantage have the Jew? Much right. every way. This was seen, man. Read. Uh, Thus did all the children of Israel as the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. Did the children of Israel keep the commandments? Uh, yes. Does it say that? Yes. So what you mean, oh, they could never keep the... They could. No, they could. They yeah. fell short here and there, here and there, here and there. But they did. They was able to do it. Yeah. 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 Reading on. And it came to pass the self same day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their armies. What, what day? Self same, self -same day. day. Come on. Huh. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the force. That's not what I want. I want now. I want to get to the how long you should keep the feast of unleavened bread. Uh Leviticus. Leviticus only three, four. I believe Exodus has it though. Yeah, six, 13 and six. Uh -huh. I want to jump down to that. 
What's that you say? Mm -hmm. no. That's why you got brothers. That's what I want. Yep. Um, I'm in Leviticus. Hold on. Read this real quick. Verse yeah. 5. Verse uh, 5. Leviticus, uh, so, so like it. Exodus 13 and verse 5. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, which he swore unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this uh, service in this month. Hold on. So the Hittites and the Amorites going to join you in this? Nope. Uh, no. no. What? I'm about to destroy them. I'm about to take your land. Mm -hmm. Die. Yeah. My God said this is mine. Mm -hmm. Right. Y'all eating, y'all cannibals. Get we gonna murk y'all if y'all getting away. That's a <laughs> but should I be trying to convert these people? No. Hold on. For that, I have to kick you out the class. And that's sad. You see who that was? Uh huh. You gonna have to answer. Uh, read that again. Come. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, which he swore unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. Come on. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread. And in the seventh day shall be a feast unto the Lord. So the opening... And the seventh day is a, a feast. feast. Right. And that's showing that that's unleavened bread. Yeah. You got to eat unleavened bread the whole time. And that's the right. start and the finish. Right. Yeah, people it's... forget that. Every day. You bet, you Watch this. Eat that. Read. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days. So this is the answer to the brother that was on the call saying, I have to eat unleavened bread each day. Yes. yes. Right. You have to yeah. eat unleavened bread each day. So what did I do? I got these big boxes, right? So brothers, take them boxes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we come to the feast day and take get you a baggie, take a little unleavened bread with you and ration it through the yeah. seven days. If you can't get your hands on some uh uh unleavened bread, yeah. we're gonna have a lot. Yeah. 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 Take some with you, just don't don't take and then no one else can have. You can make a <laughs> wafer of matzah yeah, last seven days. One wafer is this big. Yeah, you could definitely stretch that. Break that off day one. Break that off day two. Because it didn't say how much. It just said eat. Read on. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall like and there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee. Neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. So you want to get it out of your house if possible. If you can't, we doing this feast through you uh, through your house, mm -hmm. so he covers that gap. Right. We not doing it in the legalistic sense, like we following all of these commandments exact, and we deserve some type of credit. We are not doing it that way. Mm -hmm. I don't know how else to teach this, mm -hmm. man. Read on. And thou shalt show thy sons in that day, saying, "This is done." Because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. I want the 20 and first day. What, what, what verse is that? But read this. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thy hands and for a memorial between thy eyes that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth. For with, with a strong hand have the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Read, it, read on. Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in his season from year, year to year. year. Let, me, let me put that verse on the screen. Excellent. Verse. This is another important thing. Read that again. <clears throat> Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in his season from year to year. This is the precept for when Paul said, uh, how often do you do it? Do it. Boom. Yeah. Year that's to that. year. Yes. That's, that's that. That's Jump back to chapter 12 and go to verse 17. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, I'm, I'm going to leave this on the screen, though, but jump that. Why is this important? That's why we had a second, uh, 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 a 13th month this year. Yeah, the the 13th bar. month allowed us to keep the feast in its season. Yeah, that's right. In our earnest to keep the commandments, we know that this represents springtime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we believe that we keeping it in the spring. Right. 
without that extra month, we still would have been in the end of the winter. Uh, and eventually, it's going to be all the way in winter if you don't take a double. And if you don't do that and observe the 13th month every so often, every three years, I believe, the seasons will get out of touch and you'll be doing Passover in January. Mm -hmm. Because if you just follow the moon cycle, the moon cycle is not exactly 30 days. The moon cycle is 28 and 0.7 days. And that is gonna cause your calendar to shift. Remember, we have to manage the biblical calendar while living in a Gregorian calendar. Uh, right. And the biblical calendar is not based off of the date that we follow. It's based off of how the moon moves. And the moon is approximate, which causes the days to shift. All right. Go go back to Exodus 12 and start at verse 17. Exodus, go ahead, go ahead. This is Exodus hey, 12. Hey, we explained everything. Yeah. Yeah. Every yeah, yeah the rest, yeah. <laughs> In, I'm with you. <clears throat> yeah, brother, listening. Yeah, mm -hmm. I hope everybody listening. Right. You hey, watch the class twice. <laughs> Started a uh, fifteen. Let's start fourteen. Actually, Exodus twelve and fourteen. Uh, uh, Exodus chapter twelve and verse fourteen. Bring it out. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. Uh oh, I messed up. Go ahead. And ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Come on. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. Even the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eateth leaven, leaven bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. Hey, that's a tough ordinance. <laughs> what, if you, what if you accidentally ate leaven? You're done. You need Christ. Let no man judge you in feast days. Oh, it's the first day of Passover and you ate that. You're out. There's no reason for you to even teach them, Paul. Let no man judge you in feast days. Or in new moons and Sabbaths. That's what he's talking about. He's not saying don't keep feast days, new moons, or Sabbaths. Because right. that's what you said. Yeah. Right. Paul never said that. And y'all corny, bro. You know what I'm saying? How do we how do any of these religions exist? Read the book. It don't say that. Go ahead. How you get a Trinity? How? How? Where you get that from? Y'all are crazy with that. Verse 16. Come on, man. Go ahead. And in the first day. There shall be an holy convocation. What's the first day? What is the holy convocation? Passover. The Passover. That's right. That's right. Read. And in the seventh day, there shall be an holy convocation. That's, the, that's the closing. No manner of work shall be done in them, mm -hmm. save that which every man must eat, <clears throat> that only may be done of you. Ooh, that's a hard ordinance right there. Yeah. Some of y'all got to go to work this week mm -hmm. or you're done. Your house will fall if you do not go to work this week. Your lights are off. Your baby will not have diapers. There will be no mouth yeah. fed if you do not go to work this week. But what did the law say? Hmm. Can't do no work. Save that which every man must eat. So the only thing you could do is prepare food. But y'all got to go to work in this captivity. And if you don't, you're done. You They're coming to get that car. Yeah. 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 So we do this through Christ, <laughs> not in the legalistic sense. Like we followed these laws exactly, and the Most High is going to be impressed somehow. We do this through Christ. So if you got to go to work, you have an advocate for you. This does not cover brothers who want extra money and decided I'm going to get that overtime. That's willing disobedience. That's not what you had to do. That's what you wanted to do. Be wise. Why should you destroy yourself? Read on. Verse 17. And ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread. For in this self same day. Uh oh. Yaikwa, yeah, what self same day is that? First day. The day you got out. Yeah. Right. We read that already. Yeah. Well, that would be the first day. Go ahead. That's the same day. It's the self same day. That evening, nighttime came, midnight, we was out. That's the 15th. That's the. Yeah, that daytime we was riding them horses. Yeah, that's, was, that, that's the same day. That was the same day yeah. until the until the 15th yeah. that evening. Come on, that was an eventful day. Yeah. <laughs> Read on. For in this self same day have I brought your army right. out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. Read on. In the first month, on the 14th day of the month at evening, 
at even, Salati. Ye shall eat unleavened bread until the one and twentieth day of the month at even. You can't get around it. Mm -mm. <laughs> can't go nowhere. Mm -mm. All right. So you know, like I said, we're not here to say that we better than brothers. We're just telling you why we do what we do. Sure. The fourteenth day at evening to the twenty-first day at evening. If you count, that's seven days. Yeah, that's right. If you make it, the Feast of Unleavened Bread start at the 15th day at evening. If you go from the 15th at evening to the 20th day at evening, to the 21st day at evening, it says 1 and 20th. The 21st day at evening, that's only six days. Mm -hmm. It's just math. Just sit down and do it. And that is what it is. Just, that, that is what it is. Read. Right. Seven days shall there be no leaven found in your houses. For whosoever eateth that which is leavened, even that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he be a stranger or born in the land. This is proof that the stranger is an Israelite too, because how could a yeah. heathen be cut off when he's never was with? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> it's a wrap. That's the precept right there. As Captain Yaquab said, that's the precept right there. That's how you do Passover. We put our calendar out last year. Yeah. You had plenty of time to arrange, arrange for Passover. Uh, What's his name? Love. You had plenty of time. It's not like we just put the calendar out two weeks ago and said, well, Passover's our Passover 22nd. Y'all need to take off work. We didn't put you in that bind. Mm -hmm. This calendar been out for a year. Mm -hmm. And we got another calendar coming out it's going to be a year ahead. So so next year, hey, your boss, look at it different when you say, hey, I need to request some time off. Man, what you talking about? In 2025. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. All right. You, yeah, you when? April of 2025? Oh, yeah. Just put it on the schedule, man. Yeah, you good. Because you're, you're asking now. Y'all yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah. didn't ask for time off till last week. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why your boss said no. Hmm. Or you, or you were scared to ask for the time off because you just thought about it, mm -hmm. and you put it off from day to day, and now it's upon you. Now you got on it. Thursday. You tried to ask for Monday off, yeah. and then you like, I can't even do that. Yeah. That's your fault because you did not serve the Lord with all your heart. You, you wasn't excited. You didn't even gotta face the boss. Just send the email. Just send for, for time off <laughs> in 2025. Yes, send it your email. boss gonna sign off on that tomorrow. Oh yeah, you good. You good. <laughs> so with that. Passover is not a party. No. Come with the right attitude or don't come. If you have to come and you don't have the right attitude, don't eat. If you don't have the right attitude, but you want to eat, don't eat. Facts. That's the only way you can say that. Do not eat. Because you got to fix your attitude. Yeah. Sure. Down. If you got the wrong attitude and you don't want to eat, don't come. If you have to come and you got the wrong attitude and you don't want to eat, don't eat. Just be there stuck and don't eat. If you got the right attitude and you want to eat, eat for you and let somebody else have something. If you got the right attitude and you want to drink, drink for you and let somebody else have something. If you got the right attitude and you want to eat, eat and eat in your house shot. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's how you do the Passover. This video could we could stop this video and use this next year and until mm -hmm. until infinity. Because mm -hmm. it ain't the teaching ain't gonna change. But you know, we're gonna teach it again with different brothers, and there'll be another brother presenting. Bring it down. All right. It's very important. Very important. Okay. So we're gonna take a couple questions. Here's how it's gonna go. I'm going to transfer the call into Q&A. That's going to put you in a queue. And we're going to look at the chat. YouTube members have priority. And we're going to take their questions first. Okay? And if we could get to anybody else after that, because it's Passover, we're going to do, we're going to burn a little midnight oil. It, it, and all y'all, I appreciate all y'all being with us on this class right now. Okay? That's how it's going to go. Don't say, oh, I didn't join the membership. So y'all not taking my question. <laughs> it's a number at the bottom of the screen. 
I, what I got to say to them? Uh, I don't know. All right. I can't make them hear. Right. So we're going to do that now. Q mm. and A session. Has you logged started. in as a mod? Uh, me. Kind of, kind of the one. Can they still hear us? Or there's no mod? They'll tell you on YouTube. Can y'all hear me in the, in, the, in the call? Well, they can't say nothing. Looking at YouTube, they should. Can y'all still hear me on the call? Can y'all hear me on the call? Yeah, they can. Okay. 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 Let me look at the call. Might not be no questions. Nope. So it looked like it's you two. Question number one. I'm going to tell you, I got no questions. That's the first time in a long time. I I, I don't believe that. I think yeah, I, I got I got 40 some odd men. I think y'all got 40 some odd questions. Do we as Israelites each have a guardian angel assigned to us? Uh, yes. So if you go to uh, Psalm 34 and 7. I'm here now. Read that. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 34, and verse 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. And all the angels are angels of the Lord. That's the thing. Every angel that exists is an angel of the Lord. Some people don't like that. They don't want to hear that. It's true. Which angel of the Lord is not an angel of the Lord? Which one? I get deep when it comes to Satan, but I don't want to go that way. But it, it, even he belonged to Yahweh. Angel of the yeah. Lord does the will of the Lord. That's right. it. Can't be broken. Hey, guess what? A prophet is an angel of the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. But this brother's talking about spiritual angels, I'm sure. So, mm -hmm. yes, but only if you keep in the commandments. Read it again. The angel of the Lord and campeth <laughs> round about them that fear him. And deliver them. What is the fear of the Lord? Keep All right, and he'll deliver you. Yeah, out of yep. seven troubles. Yep. <clears throat> yep. So that's answered. Um, so we can't fast to avoid unintentional consumption of yeast. During the feast of unleavened bread, Brother, it's a feast. You don't fast. No, you it's a can't. Feast. You can't fast none of the days. Of unleavened bread. You, you have to eat unleavened bread. bread. It's a feast, my brother. Go and get you some unleavened bread. You, if you go on Amazon right now, it'll be at your house Monday, and you get you some unleavened matzah bread. It's nasty, but you can put olive oil in a bag and crunch it up with some salt and shake it, and they like chips. They good. Boy, hey. <laughs> Tear it up. <laughs> It'll hold you down. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I have a question that when you get done with the YouTube question. Okay. If my husband is not in the truth, he's going to be working Passover, and I prepare the Passover lamb. Can I save him a plate of the lamb, or do I burn the rest of the lamb without offering him some? If you're going to do the Passover at home and try to observe the feast in earnest, nothing can be left over to the morning of whatever you make as your Passover meal. But why is your husband eating it if he's not in the truth? Yeah. Why are you feeding him the Passover? Tell him to watch an SOT video and see if you have any questions and do a council on a Sunday morning and let's talk. Nah. All right. That's tough. What's the difference between falling away and falling short? Or falling short is you sin and you failed. Falling away is you reprobate, you yeah, quit. You quit, I'm done. Mm -hmm. yep. And you're going to die. Presumptuous sin. Um, I'm a baker with a gluten allergy, so I use applesauce to help my gluten-free cake rise. Would applesauce be something I need to get rid of? I think applesauce got baking soda in it, and that's yeast. That's a, uh, yeah, that's why a leavening that's, agent. That's why it does that. Yeah. That's why does All leavening agents got to get out. Mm -hmm. Right, Actually, and I gotta prove it that you can only season with salt. Don't be putting no Lowry's yeah. on your lamb and garlic, yeah. onion, salt. Only salt. You know the scripture I want? Number, number mingle with salt. The sacrifice mingle with salt. Oh, oh, 
But you can't. It's the way you got to cook it too. You can't uh, broil it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you you got to roast them. Fire. Roast fire. Adonai said two ingredients: flour and water, and you got unleavened bread. Gotta make sure that flour don't have no rising agent or additives. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Be yeah, careful. Yeah. But that's good unleavened bread. You season it. When do we burn the fat and the extra lamb? That night before the next before evening. The I'll be. I mean, before the mo- sunrise. Mm-hmm. When the sun goes up, it needs to be burned. Come. So where I stay, we can't grill. Can I cook it in the crock pot? That's mm. the yeah. crock pot is like. It's like sodding. It's like sodding it. Yeah. It's like making it like in a soup. Just put it in a skillet. Yeah. Fry it. Put it in a skillet. Can George Foreman grill that thing? Put it in a skillet and turn it. I, I know his brothers out there like, oh, these niggas said put it in a skillet. What kind of Israelite is this? Like, ah, people are trying, man. Right. Some people don't have Hell, man. Damn, man. Okay, 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 I, okay, okay. Go broaden your phylactery. Um, what are all of the races in the Bible, and which are our enemies? Is eight is eighteen nations, and all of them are enemies. That's right. Easy. You want to read Psalm thirty-three? The table of eighteen nations. I don't know off the top of my head. We we got that on a sign. Um, that's a class in itself, teaching you all the different nations. You got Elam. Ishmael, Moab, Ammon, Edom, Canaan, Javan. Uh, it's a lot, man. It's eight. It's it's a lot. Genesis ten. It's in Genesis chapter ten. Nah, that's a whole class in itself. We're not time for. And she's not a member. He's not a member. That I'm just answering. Can anyone give scripts how to count days by using the moon? It goes like this. It goes like this. The new moon is the beginning of your month. There's no moon in the sky. That evening is day one. The next evening is day is the beginning of day two. You're not really using the moon to count days. The moon just told you where to start. And then from there, you count evenings. That's how you count days. So we can't work on the first and seventh day or all seven days. It's really all seven days. Huh. That's what we just read, right? I think it's the first and seventh. Ah, la ah. Those are it's seven. All seven. La ah. Hold on, let me get back to that. It's the first day and the seventh day. Yeah. Yeah. No, man of work uh, no man of work shall be done in them. Save that which every man must be. I, I, I read that as the first through the seventh. No, it's the first and the seventh. Mm-hmm. Those are holy convocations, so you are, do no serve our work. That's right. That's right. Um, so do you hold burnt offerings? I don't understand that question. No. Baking soda used for cleaning or brushing teeth. I can't have in my house. Do you eat toothpaste? then that's not the leaven that God is talking about. Baking soda is, though. Get that out. Like, if you got a box of baking soda, that's a leavening agent. That's pure leaven. Get that out. But um, it's really talking about the yeast that's used to make dough rise. But being technical, get the baking soda out. But toothpaste is not food, right? Yeah, brother, what I was doing a couple years ago, the, uh, the soap, the, the dish detergent, I mean, not the, 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 the wash your clothes with, they had baking soda. No, that's, that's not, not food. food. You're not eating that. That's something that Moses never had. <laughs> uh, I'm new to Passover. I season the lamb with salt, pepper, adobo, and garlic. <laughs> now nah, you you do you too much. Where's that at? Is is so duck lawful? No, uh, it got webbed. Numbers. It got webbed feet. Right. It's not lawful. Not what scripture do we read if we can't make it to Passover? We're going to do Leviticus 23, Exodus 12, Exodus 14, Exodus 13. Um, you don't have to make it. Call in this number that evening. We will be on that call and you can listen. How do we get rid of stuff? 
how do we get rid of the stuff left Uber from the? I think it over, means over, over from the night before if we can't go out the door. Who right? said you can't go out the door? Are you not allowed to go outside or something? What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Ask that question again different. Isn't egg a leavening agent when fried? If so, I think we should avoid things rising, period. No. And if they don't rise, they would be okay. Is that going too deep? You can't never go too deep. But if that's what you... But when you declare something lawful, be careful. Yeah. Because when you add to the scriptures, that is a sin. Yeah. An egg is not... Egg. It's not yeast it's not leaven yeah. an egg is an egg it's protein um first month we have the president says yeah that's right wait duck isn't, duck isn't concerned considered clean no it's like a swan or an egret it got webbed feet you cannot eat a duck you can't eat that um is alpha and omega god or christ i'm so confused about that one great question alpha and omega means beginning and end the beginning of all things is God, and he is the end of all things. Right. But God has no beginning and end. So it's really a statement of power. See that? So when Christ says it in Revelation, he's God already said that in Isaiah 44, I believe. He already said it. When Christ is saying it literally says, thus saith the Lord. So it's a quotation. It's a statement of power, meaning it starts and ends with me. Meaning I am in control right now. And what happened to Christ? All authority in heaven and earth was yeah. given to him. Yeah. Right. So that statement is applicable and is lawful for him to say, I'm the Alpha and Omega. Yeah. And I come quickly and my reward is with me. Yeah. That is the uh, understanding of that. Good question. Um, somebody said, are you on a house arrest? What do you mean you can't go outside? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check the call. Did anybody? Yep, got a brother. Uh, nine on one. Question or comment? So I'm um, at one. So I got a question. What's up, Ock? Uh, what's the best way to uh, or best scriptures to go to for brothers that are in the truth, but they uh, might be vegetarian or vegan? And Phil don't need to eat lamb and might eat like mushrooms or something. That's why they ask about shrooms on the Passover. I've heard, no, that, before. I've heard that doctrine before. I'm, the Lord in Genesis required you to just that's like a vegan doctrine though. Eat, uh, so don't eat lamb. But it say eat, eat lamb. Yeah. Yeah. They, they can't get around you that. Gotta eat lamb you gotta eat lamb on Passover. Yeah. yeah. But people but people that have that doctrine forbid you to eat meat in general. No, it was told to eat meat. In general, they're going to forbid you. So that's why they ain't going to eat no lamb. If you get like the four on the stuff, I've heard that doctrine. And then, brother, you, you, you don't have to stuff yourself with lamb. Right. If you you're a vegan, meat. you take a bite oh, and you eat the meat. lamb, that's and that's that. You take a bite and you, and you keep it pushing. You don't have to stuff yourself and become lamb drunk, you know, with meat. What? Mushrooms? How? Yeah. Yeah. You have to eat lamb. He said yeah. He said shrooms. Though. We got a sister who studied with us, and that sister is a vegan and very healthy and focused on health foods and healing foods. But on Passover, she eat a piece of lamb. Got to. It didn't say eat a whole lamb. Just partake of the cedar meal. That's the lamb that's required that you must eat. Can you explain how the dark moon is considered a new moon when it can't be seen? Easy. 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 Very easy. Um, so, right, right. Yeah, 43. 43. Sorry, verse 6. You know what to do. Mm -hmm. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 43, and verse 6. Three. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of time. So, the moon is supposed to declare what season you're in, read. That's right. God. And a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of feast. The moon tells you what feast day you're in. Read. A light that decreases. In her perfection. So when is the moon perfect? Mm -hmm. If it's decreasing in its perfection, right. when is the moon perfect? When it's full. Right. Right. Read. Right. The month is called after her name. The month is determined by the moon. Right. Mm -hmm. So if there's a new moon, then it's a new mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. 
but that new moon <clears throat> becomes a new moon when it decreases right in its perfection when it decreases from a full moon read increasing wonderfully in, in her changing. changing so right. if if it if it being a full moon it decreases in its uh perfection to become new what does that mean if it's increasing it's going from a dark, dark, dark to moon light. to a to full, full moon again to, to right. its perfection because that is a moon cycle right so that moon cycle determines your month once once that moon becomes dark again yep. you're in a new month and then that new moon becomes light and it becomes perfect a perfect full moon you're in the middle of the month and you're in the middle of the month and then it and then it wanes again and it goes back to a <laughs> about the, new moon about to start over yeah it's about to start over now sis you might have heard the doctrine when the moon was newly created yeah. it was created as a bright light but the new moon is not what it says in the hebrew right. Right. in the hebrew it says month moon yeah. month moon yeah. of the month right. mm -hmm. new moon is an english rendition it's yeah. it's not even saying new moon like right. brand new it's, not, not, not it's brand just new saying the, the yeah. moon of your month yeah, yeah it's all the same so don't let that doctrine sway you i, I don't know how brothers miss that because i know brothers are scholars even if they don't say you know they're not dealing with that they know it so how you do that yeah. uh benjamin says according to deuteronomy 22 and numbers 15 what is the difference between fringes and zizits are they one and the same um one can argue that one is a braided cord and then another can argue that one is a um like a twisted knot that hangs because there is two different Hebrew words. But a fringe is a fringe is a fringe. Yeah. All right. With a border of blue. If you I got on ZZ and fringes. So it's you know, brother saying that these is uh you know Esau's fringes. They say the Z is Esau's fringes. Like, no, they're not, they mine. Mm -hmm. I heard I heard the brother say you that. see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, y'all wicked. You only wear Z Z. Cause as an excuse to not wear fringes, cause you, it, it you don't want to sacrifice your your swag, so you throw on zits and da da da. Like, swag? Who? Bro, bro, we got wives, bro. We not trying to impress nobody. Oh, brother. <laughs> we we good, man. The Lord <laughs> right. gave us the desires of our heart. Okay, home. brother. <laughs> All right, Hot. Uh, yes, there's a precept. You're quoting something directly from Sirach. A man who travels will be yep. increased in wisdom. Yep. Come. Yeah. Um, that's for Danny Phantom. Yes, it is encouraged to travel and see the world and grow in experiences. Experience. Yeah. I think what the brother meant was because the death angel was passing over, we couldn't leave outside. I think he's asking, how can we do the burnt offerings if we go outside? No, don't add to the law. The law didn't say don't go outside. It told the Israelites to put blood on their door. The law of the Passover don't ask you to put blood on the door. That's what they did. When you observe it, it didn't tell you to do that because right. the Lord is not sending the deaf angel. He sent the deaf angel that day. Right. You are commemorating that day. And he told you how to commemorate that day. And he didn't tell you to do all that. I learned so much from watching y'all videos. I thank God for my brothers. My husband and I are 44 and we're just now learning the truth. Oh, oh, what happened to our loved ones that passed away without the truth? What happens to our loved ones that pass away without the truth? Paul said this. Uh, go to the book of Romans. Paul said, "Go no, go to Acts 24 and 15. Yeah. It's the book of Acts chapter 24. In verse 15, and it reads, uh -oh. and have hope towards God, which they themselves also allow that there should be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and unjust. One. And herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense towards God, and towards men. So the Christian church always taught that, like Paul was saying, 
I hope everybody get a chance to come back. No. But what Paul is really saying is that I believe in a death, burial, resurrection of Christ, but I also believe in a resurrection of the dead where we're going to face judgment. All right. So I had to put that out there because usually this is the answer to that question that, well, Paul said, I hope that I have a um, a resurrection of the just and unjust. I see that on a lot of eulogies yeah. and funeral cards. I hope I have hope towards God that there's a resurrection of the righteous and the wicked, meaning that no matter how you live, you, you, you get a chance. That's that verse not should not be applied that way. So right. what you what what you what you have to say is cold. And I'm gonna just say it to you straight. Go to second address eight and yeah. fifty. Uh, yeah. you, you gotta say it like this. Eight and fifty five. This is book the second Ezra chapter eight and verse fifty five. Yeah. And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Don't even ask that. The most high might regenerate them and they get another opportunity. When you get spiritual, you could kind of understand that. But at the end of the day, what is the point of asking that? Yeah. Don't even ask that. Mm -hmm. Read it again. Uh, and therefore, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Don't ask questions about people that have died and gone. Just worry about you. Yeah, you got to walk your walk because only you can get on. Uh, right. Get in. Alone. You, right. you can't do nothing for them. And they can't help you. All right. Mm -hmm. Check the call. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's right. <laughs> uh, 816. Question or comment? Hey, shalom, brothers. All right, shalom. Hey, um, yeah, I, was, I was looking at Numbers 36, verses 8 through 9, and uh, I'm kind of curious if y'all had scriptures that pre pretty much prove that we can marry um, within, like, the, the 12 tribes. Say, you know, maybe in Judah, I can marry, like, Ephraim. Yeah, oh, he saw, yeah. King David yeah. had he took a wife from um Issachar, Issachar and, King <laughs> and King David is from Judah. Hey, this this scripture right here, uh, it's not to be taken as uh, Levi was commanded to marry on Levi, Judah was commanded only to marry Judah. This is a specific scenario where a man had daughters, nothing but daughters, he didn't have any sons, and his inheritance had to go to his daughters. Mm -hmm. So instead of giving his inheritance to his daughters who are married outside of the tribe, and let's say they married Benjamin, and now all his inheritance goes to Benjamin, they had to marry within their tribe so that the inheritance stays with that tribe because that man didn't have sons. And this is the way the Lord wanted it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it would be good to keep the inheritance among the tribes. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. But you, if you marry a woman of Israel, that's what you did. Yeah. Understand? I, that's what if you were Judah and you married a woman of Ephraim, that baby to tell me Judah. Yeah, Judah. The baby is Judah. That's right. You understand? I? <laughs> yeah, kind, kind. All right. 785, question or comment? My apologies. I have a question. Um, I've been watching you guys for a while, and I appreciate everything that y'all teach. Um, forgive me for the lack of knowledge, um, but I'm just asking, after the flood, Moses was an Israelite. <laughs> would that make everybody after that Israelite? Mm -hmm. Wait, what are you saying? No, Moses, your, your, your chronology you know, Moses is, is, is off, no. my brother. No, it's not an Israelite. Okay. Noah is not an Israelite. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, he meant Noah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I thought he said Moses. Yeah, he said Moses. Moses, he said Moses but I think he means Noah. You meant Noah, right? All right. I did mean Noah, yes. My apologies. All right. Yeah, he's not an Israelite. No. Yeah, so no, he's not. Noah's not an Israelite. What makes an Israelite is you are a, a descendant of the man whose name is Jacob, Jacob whose right. name was changed to Israel. Yeah. That is an Israelite. So from Noah, you okay. have Shem, you. Ham, and Japheth. Those are the descendants after. And the Israelites come from Shem. Right. So all right. Israelites are Shemites, but all yeah. Shemites are not, not Israelites. Because right. you got uh, the, the Midianites that are Shemites. 
but they're not Israelites. You got the Edomites that are Shemites. Got, they're not Israelites. You got Ishmael. He's a Shemite, but he's not an Israelite. Uh, so to be an Israelite, you must come from Israel. The man named Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. I should get it in what? Second Edra 6. Understood. I appreciate that. I mean, we already got it. All right, Ock. Interesting question. You know, it got all walks of life on here. Everybody's learning. A64, you got a question or a comment? Salawam, elders. Um, I have a question. I was wondering, um, I was talking to one of my other brothers, and we were wondering um, if it was law that you had to eat lamb every day of the Passover no. or just the first day of Passover? Just the first day. See the minute. What you have to eat is unleavened bread. Uh -huh. it's, the, it's not the feast of lamb. Yeah, it's right. the feast of unleavened bread. Right. right. Yeah, so you eat you eat the lamb for Passover. And then the feast, like Elder said, is for the unleavened bread. Right. But the the lamb is applied for the Passover right. itself. And specifically the cedar mill, yeah. which is the lamb with the bitter herb. Yeah, and then to commemorate Christ, uh, we partake of the one. Clayton, we explain uh -huh. this. The feast is over on the 29th at evening. The 28th at evening is the last day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So you got to eat unleavened bread up until the 29th at evening. Right, right. All right. Right. Con, con, the water. And uh, just, just one last question. The actual Passover meal, as you just said, it, it, is, it is literally specific to the lamb, the bitter herbs, the unleavened bread and the wine, correct? Like no other, no, no, no other side or nothing like that, right? That is a specific meal. That's the way that's, that's supposed, way supposed to be observed. Be observed. Uh -huh. the water. All right, go to Ephesians five and nineteen. I right, start at verse uh, seventeen. Uh, what was that question at? I sing gospel songs to the Most High. Am I off if I sing them about Christ too? Because if most gospel songs are saying Jesus, but talking about the most high God, I don't know how to navigate that. Uh, that's an interesting question. Yeah. If you're singing a gospel song and you know, and you have conscience that the song is misappropriating Christ as the most high God, Peter. and you're aware of it, mm -hmm. then do not sing. Right. And that what Paul would say. Mm -hmm. But if you know that the words have a meaning that Christ is subordinate to God and, at, as his son mm -hmm. and that how they mean it is irrelevant and it could never be that. Mm -hmm. So when you say Jesus is Lord, you mean it the right way. Then sing. Right. Right. Uh, read that. Ephesians 5 and 17. God. Spooky Ephesians chapter 5 and you verse 17. I can't see none of this. Verse 4. Be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not okay, drunk. Bring it up. Be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Come on. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody. In your heart to the Lord. So you sing whatever you want to sing. Right. Take their song and remix it. That's right. All right. That's a that's a beautiful thing. Oh, this brother. On the scene. <laughs> Con, I can read this, Ottawa. Yes, read that. Con, this is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 14, and verse 15. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with understanding also. Uh-huh. I will sing with the spirit. Uh uh. With tons of one. And I will sing that. with the understanding you also. You call you out right. Read it again. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit and I will pray with understanding also. I will sing with the spirit and I will sing with the understanding also. God. God. So you see, just like I don't want to say, you have, you. As long as you have the understanding of, of where Christ's position is, as long as you're not purposely trying to put him as God, you had an understanding and you remix it. Right. 
Because you had a spirit and you had an understanding. Mm -hmm. Hey, the brothers said, this is my first year. While I was on YouTube, I found a sister saying her husband throws blood on their doorpost from the lamb packaging. Should we be doing this? <laughs> Hell no. And you're going to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to go to jail. If you live in an apartment, you're going to jail. That's unsanitary. That's biohazard. The Lord ain't tell you to do that. <laughs> I bet that brother boasting that shit too. Uh, yeah, 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 he <laughs> Is our Sabbath still tonight until tomorrow night? Yes. If you keep the regular Sabbath, yes. Uh, scripture says the scripture says that we're not to leave out the door until the next. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. The event that the Passover feast is memorializing mm -hmm. was when the Israelites stayed in the house and the deaf angel passed over them. Yes. Right. When you keep Passover, you're commemorating that night by eating unleavened bread lamb and bitter herbs right. you're not asked to stay in the house and put blood over your doorpost i can't make that no clear even the sabbath say stay in when you read exodus now you're getting complex you're about to jump off a building like <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, a, a deaf angel don't pass over every no oh it, it, oh it happened once oh and now you commemorate it right right do this in remembrance Hold up, eating duck is against God's law. Yes. 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 Please yes. do not eat, eat duck. duck. Do not eat duck. Well, I'll read the law. No, we told no. him yes. It got webbed feet. Got webbed. I, I keep saying that. I'm giving you the answer. It got webbed feet. Any bird with that, don't eat that. Um, that's why duck is it looked different than a, a game hen when you cook it. It looked completely different. It's all greasy. Yeah. Uh, not supposed to eat that. Can you be in the truth and feel like you're doing right and still feel unworthy to eat pat? Yes. That's a contrite heart. You have to be <laughs> thoroughly convinced in your own mind. That's the point. Is it law that we must eat lamb every no, it don't say that. All you have to do is eat unleavened bread, Passover week. Do the zeet zeets have a border of blue? Yes. Yes. Every one of them. Uh, doesn't the Bible say remove leaven? Why do we need to remove leaven in Asia? So that you know, not we're saying remove the leavening agent, but the leavening agent is present in a food. So you are not to eat any food with leaven. To help the Israelites observe that law, they removed all leaven from their house. Mm -hmm. To help you observe that law, Remove all 11 from your house. You can't accidentally eat a nut butter cookie at three in the morning because you're in the kitchen and you came down to get some water and then you just wanted something sweet and you ate a cookie and then you walking up the steps and you're like, oh, oh. I've been there. Facts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Facts. I've been there. I've I've made it all the way to the fifth day. I and then myself. I feel terrible. And I'm like, how could I do that at work? Donuts. Oh my God. What am I doing? <laughs> I, I, I just went to the bathroom and repent. So I, I wanted to cry. <laughs> because it's, it can happen accidentally. So if you get all the leaven away, the temptation is not there. Bingo, sir. And it's spiritual. That's the thing. It is spiritual. Right. Hey, uh, that you're right too, because it is spiritual. A lot of people, y'all, focus on that leaven in the crib, which you should. But get that leaven out of your spirit. We didn't even read them verses. That's yes. that'll come out at camp. Uh -huh. We alluded to it though, because Paul. Y'all going and they going hard for the leaven in the crib. Uh -huh. You can't eat this. You can't eat that. Well, let's see that same real. energy for the leaven in your, 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 your body. I recommend y'all do a, a a fast before Passover. Like do something. Damn. What does that show? Would SOT consider going back to chat GPT <laughs> doing a second debate? We just get like that. Like that debate. <laughs> Considering it probably it's gonna evolved, quit again. It's gonna we we made it. We made it. We broke it. That's live on video. We're not yeah. boasting. We did that. Nah, that's live. Yeah. That's all I got. Mm. Uh, oh. hey, you know what they upgraded to? To 
to say that's a loaded question. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's inside joke. Inside joke. That's a loaded yeah, question. Had to be there. Was the eclipse a sign of anything? Jeremiah ten. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this out the way. Yeah, get, yeah, the yeah. eclipse is just a something beautiful that the Lord right. could do. Right. He could do that. And it's just for you to go, wow, Yahweh was great. Oh, and then get right back to what you're doing. A woman drove her car into a tree and killed herself and her baby and threw one baby out the car. She lived, but she got to live the rest of her life without her sibling, her mother, <laughs> and her father. Because her zodiac sign worshiping tarot card playing with mother yep. got spirits on her, and Satan done suggested all types of things to her. And she listened and killed herself and her family. This lady's crazy. Yep. That's why the Bible said this, right? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word of uh hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. The eclipse, the, the eclipse don't mean nothing, but the Lord could do that. Right. Um, to clarify, the evening of the 28th, the end. No. no. The 28th that evening is the last day <laughs> of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Go back right. to the video when we counted it. You'll get it. All right. And if that's the beginning... Of the, last of the last day, day the end of that day is the beginning of the 29th. You don't right. eat unleavened bread on the 29th. No. Right. You eat unleavened bread on the 28th. Right. All right. We explained it so that nobody make that mistake. Right. Uh, I have a major question. If beginning the year is based on the moon, why do you go back to a fixed Saturday as the Sabbath? Because the, because the regular right. Sabbath has nothing to do with what day it is. Right. The Bible says you're going to work day. six days, yep. and on the seventh day, you're going to rest. This shall be a Sabbath for you. It didn't say you're going to wait. It didn't say you're going to count. It says you are going to work <laughs> six days, and on the seventh, you shall rest. rest. Yep. What's the beginning of the work week in the captivity that we serve? Sunday. All right. When do we stop working? Friday evening. Yep, that's right. That's our seventh day. And that's regular, right? Yep. That's why we keep it like that. It got nothing to do with the moon. That's why we have double Sabbaths <laughs> right. and things of that nature. Yep. It says, the Bible says remove leaven. Why should we remove yeah, leavening yeah. agents right. like yeah. baking soda that don't contain yeast or leaven? Because baking soda as a leavening agent could be used in a meal where you done rose your food. Yeah. So just remove it. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I said if it got baking soda, clothes wash, washing clothes powder got baking soda in it. The the yet. dishwasher pods got that. Mm -hmm. You don't eat you that. Don't eat. <laughs> We're talking about things you eat. That, that, uh, that, uh, that baking soda you put in your refrigerator to make it fresh in it. You yeah. Not, you're not. You don't not eat that. that. It's not, it's, that's not the, the literal soda. baking soda. Do brothers have camp in Brooklyn? I've been watching for a while. I would like to join. Uh, we don't have we don't have a camp set up in Brooklyn. We got brothers around there, but join it. Send us an email at sons of thunder israelites at gmail.com. Join the camp and you make a camp in Brooklyn. Uh, is the evening of <laughs> is the evening of the 28th the end of Passover week? No. It's the 29th that evening. Is the the 29th that evening Passover is over. Over, so on the twenty eighth that evening you gotta eat unleavened bread. One more day. One more day. Sure. Till nightfall. Uh, when it comes to regeneration, does the Israelite always come back as an Israelite, or should they come back as another nation as punishment? I never heard of that. I never heard of that. I have no commentary on that. That would be cool. You have both time brought you back as Edom. You woke up a Canaanite. You woke up a Canaanite. You drinking. Hey, three one three. Question or comment? Um, I have a question. What's that? Shalom. Um, my husband given me permission to ask this question about marriage. Okay. And the question, and the question is, um, I have seven children outside of our marriage and raised and married 
for just under a year. And we have a newborn. Um, what is best if the Lord his responsibilities um, when it comes to outside children? All right. oh, oh, ask that question one more time okay so i have seven children outside of our marriage so we got into unions under um the hebrew law recently and we have a newborn and so what is his responsibilities when it comes to outside children like what does the bible say about that if your children live in his house they must obey him right If your children by other men live outside of his house, they must obey their earthly father. Precept. If those children live in the house with you and with him, he is the Lord of that house. They must obey him. Period. That's it. It's not even all of that, which all about the, it don't even go into that. And you should be in agreement with that. Y'all yeah. should agree to that. It can't be. You ain't they, my daddy. Yeah, none of that. No. Like, you soften it because he's not the dad. No. <laughs> no. You're no. not my dad. No. no. You have no. to. No. You have to obey. Um, can I ask me? What about the responsibility of the husband and wife? Like, how does that work? Um, when it comes to him, because I know we live in captivity, so so. Um, what about like as far as like the remnant goes? The who? The what? The remnant, like, like the rent, like the clothing and. Oh, Raymond, like Raymond, if uh -huh. those children Raymond. live in his house, they must obey him. The trade off is they get to enjoy living in his house. That means they eat, have a bed, and can clean themselves. It don't, it don't require them to have fly gear, and every one of them get a PlayStation, and every one of them get new sneakers, <laughs> and every one of them get to go on a vacation. It doesn't the Lord ain't asked for that. You provide for your family food and clothing and shelter. The trade-off is they obey him. And his job is to look after them as his possessions now. Correct. He's now their adoptive father. If the children are going to be disobedient and say, you're not my daddy, they need to go live with their daddy. Simple as that. Thank you. All right. All right. We're going to stop right there. Hey, um, we're going to have camp tomorrow. At, huh? Said that's right. We will. Yes. At three o'clock at Woodruff Park in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Bring bring folding chairs. and We got chairs, but we ain't got that many. It's different now. Bring bring chairs if y'all want to be comfortable and sit down because we're going to be out there for a while. You know, we're going to have a cooler with some ice chests. If y'all bring y'all fruit and stuff, we can keep it cool. Um, anything y'all want to bring to support the brothers to for our comfort, we appreciate that. And we're going to provide security for you for the entire time you're there. Um, we're going to start at 3. And afterwards, um, you know, people are going to go their separate ways. We're going to go, uh, the, the, the beautiful brothers of Sakari, put something mm -hmm. together for the adults. No children, right. no underage children, 18 and over, but they put something together for us. We're going to go eat and enjoy and be merry and feast and uh, uh, congregate with them after that camp. But it does not accommodate children. So if you have children, you might want to look into, if you want to do something, you might want to coordinate with the other sisters and right. brothers who have children and see what they're going to do. Right. And But we just telling you what we're going to be doing, um, certain brothers, right? Um, cause I got a small child. He can't come. Um, Sunday, there's going to be a brunch. Right. <clears throat> All are welcome. Send an email to SOT feast. Actually, I can't get into that email now. Mm -hmm. okay. I was handling that. Yeah. I, I <sighs> you can get into that email. Yeah. yeah send an email to SOT feast day. And say you want to come to the brunch, it'll be $15 if you're not a member of the Pillars of Rest. This is going to be on Sunday. Yeah. If you're a member of Pillars of Rest, it's free. Come and enjoy. All right? 
you know if you so basically if you in the chat right now in the telegram you free yeah, you good all right um that's waiting. what's going to be happening Sunday. Sunday night, brothers told me we're doing something, but I don't know the details. I don't know the details. Mm -hmm. We're going to figure that out yeah. Saturday night. Sunday. Yeah. SOT soldiers. Yep. Sunday. At 12 p.m. Y'all okay. are to be at this same location. <laughs> this is where we do our new moons at. Mm-hmm. We'll give you the marching orders. All right. We got to talk to y'all. We got to have a meeting. And then Monday is Passover. Y'all should have directions how to get there. We will be, we will be beginning at 745. Israel, listen to me. When we tell you that new moon is at 745, y'all show up at 840. Yeah. Not they show up at nine. <laughs> and you come in and you shake hands and you dap and you make a lot of noise while we talk. Uh, because it ain't that important to you. Passover, the door going to be locked. We start at 745. You're not getting in until we're done with them prayers. As a matter of fact, at New Moon, you should be way more courteous than that. You came in late. Just take your seat. Oh, just sit down. Mm -hmm. You'll dab everybody after, not during. The door's going to be locked while we pray. The prayers is why we're doing this. That's, that's right. right. The prayers is better than whatever I can say about Exodus and going into Moses and brothers giving you accounts and precepts. That's good and all. But the fact that we all in unison going to beseech Yahweh is the main event. That's right. <clears throat> I'm not opening that. I don't care if you're outside. Your dress is white and it's raining. I told you now. We will begin at 745. That means you could be there at five, kicking it and talking and help a little bit. Or if not, just be there. Right. Take your seat. Chill. Key, key, key. That means you should be there at seven. In, in all honesty, you should yeah. be there at seven, six forty-five. You should just be there because the traffic in Atlanta already. Stupid. Don't make no. And it's Monday. So if you try, I'm going to leave at seven and I'm good. You're going to be late. I, you should, you, you We're trying be. to tell you now. You should be watching the class if you come into our Passover because why, why not? And if you RSVP, you've already been given the address. Now, it's 748, it's raining, and you outside, and your dress got sequenced, and your brother, your your, your garment got a a, 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 a bear head, and on the other side is a, is a lion, and, and his paw goes up over your head. But if it get wet, all the fur going to fall, I don't care. Because we starting at 745. And the prayer is going to take a minute and you will be outside. Because nobody's going to stop praying to open the door for you. Because right. the prayers is why we're here. That's right. I'm telling you this now. Just come on time. <clears throat> All right? Everybody understand? I said it like that. I can hear him. But I hope y'all understand. All right? What we're going to do now is... We're going to send up the Lord's Prayer in the Hebrew like we always do at this time. Call the number at the bottom. Make sure your phone is on mute. We are the Sons of Thunder. It's our heart's prayer and desire for Israel that they might be saved. Kwam ya sha'ala. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you for watching. You can support the body via Cash App or PayPal. You can also support the channel by joining our Patreon for exclusive videos and content that can't be found anywhere else. We're the Sons of Thunder. It's our heart's prayer and desire for Israel that they might be saved. Shalom. Uh-huh. Uh. -huh. uh. The chef. Baby, baby. I was born in 85, but I'm like 97 big Bad boy uh -huh. ready to die, but nah, I prefer to live Was ready to uh -huh. take a life, but nah, I prefer to give Bring a cease uh -huh. to my sins, keep the faith for my kids uh -huh. Francis what? in the flesh, I'm back here, homie, get out my chair uh -huh. I'm back live, baptized, rap guys uh -huh. With the laws of Moses, grace by Jesus Cherry red M3s, how I display fruits to the masses Over their heads like mad passions The pot of Made me clay like cashews Still slicker than your average Chefy Smalls keep it slaw like cabbage Breaking down the walls like the law spell backwards 
no episode, no theatrics, uh-huh. killing everything you in, no Patrick, uh-huh. shit's graphic, who touching the kid like sick Catholics, Chef free the savage, flows classic. I think my music is being so well received because it's just some real shit, you know, it ain't no... It ain't, like I said, it ain't no gimmicks behind this shit, you know, I'm just a nigga, I live in Brooklyn, that get busy, you know what I'm saying? Thank you.